Chapter 251, Quidditch World Cup. After rushing to eat breakfast, everyone set off and touched the black and set off. Along the way, Mr. Weasley introduced the preparations for this game. There are hundreds of thousands of wizards who will come to the UK, so they can only prepare for more than half a year in advance. For example, find a large enough open space and apply a lot of magic to hide it. The Quidditch World Cup actually attracts so many people. Hermione exclaimed in a low voice. For a European, the gathering of hundreds of thousands of people is an amazing thing in itself, not to mention that these people are all wizards. After all, the influence of the Quidditch World Cup among the wizards is equivalent to the sum of a series of games such as the World Cup plus the Super Bowl plus the Olympics and so on. In the wizarding world, there is only one type of sporting event. High enthusiasm is inevitable, Lane whispered. Soon everyone climbed onto a small mountain bag to meet the Degory family, and then rushed to the camp near the stadium through a broken boot-like door key. After arriving at the camp, Ryan volunteered to stay and work with Mr. Weasley to prepare breakfast, because he should be one of the highest level here without cooking with magical life. When he and Mr. Weasley set up the tent and raised the fire, Mr. Weasley was purely chaotic, the others returned with the water. Even their team brought Sirius and Harry. Hey, Harry, how are you doing this summer? Asked Harry Ryan, who was walking over, frying eggs. Awesome, because Dusley has been thinking that I don't exist this summer. And my godfather taught me a lot. That's good, right? Would you like some? Ryan asked pointing at the sausage on the grill. No, we just finished breakfast, so it's enough to drink some tea. I heard that you came early today. Don't mention, getting up at two o'clock in the morning and walking the halfway through the night. I'm still hungry now, Ryan said with a knife. He cut the grilled fresh sausage into thin slices and spread them evenly on the bread slices. Then add fried eggs, lettuce and sauce to make a sandwich. After being processed as usual, a stack of sandwiches was piled on the wooden plate beside Ryan. Then Bill, Charlie and Percy suddenly strode towards them from the woods. Just the phantom came over, Dad, Percy said loudly. Ah, it's great, it's delicious. As everyone was eating and drinking, Ludo Bagman came over, and Mr. Weasley was excited to introduce him to everyone. Ryan quickly remembered that the man in front of him was a famous rotten gambler and dared to owe the fairy's debts. Later, in order to repay the debt or even cheat, he provided intelligence to Harry and finally lost all the money and ran directly. This caused the goblins to run directly to the Ministry of Magic to collect debts. This process tells you the most important lesson, stay away from gambling in any situation. Of course, at this time, Ludo Bagman was not so bad. But to be honest, even the poor family of the poor wizarding community in Britain, such as the Weasleys, cheated on the money, which is really garbage. At this time, Ludo had already opened, and Mr. Weasley bet a gallon. The twins pressed a defensive bracelet after whispering with Ryan. Ludo at the price of 35 gallons. Whether winning or losing, this thing can give Ludo Bagman the name of our goods. When Mr. Weasley was somewhat dissatisfied with the twins being so big, the twins Zenzen explained. As the afternoon passed, a feeling of excitement filled the camp like clouds that could be touched. The signs of magic are becoming more and more obvious, but this time the Ministry of Magic has given up the idea of managing happy wizards. Sirius walked with his head at the forefront, Ryan followed them. Originally, Ryan also planned to buy a batch of souvenirs. But Sirius, who entered the currency mode, generously gave these children who were still in school a panoramic telescope, a set that all supported the Irish team, of course, Ryan declined the forgiveness. Coloured clover hat. Naturally, most British people support the Irish team, because the division of the magic world is different from the mull world, and the population of wizards is not large, so many places are divided into one area. For example, Ireland as a whole belongs to the British Ministry of Magic. Tube. For the same reason, magic schools cannot be one for each country and their school districts are larger. This is why Victor Crumb is a Bulgarian who went to school in Northern Europe. Just like the Mull World football team, the British Quidditch team is also divided into England, Scotland, Wales and Ireland. But this also makes the Quidditch World Cup look more suspenseful, otherwise at least seven or eight of the ten games will be the British to win the championship. Just when Black was going to spend some more money to buy, somewhere deep in the woods came a low and thick gong sound with this sound that was not magic enough, thousands of red, red, Green and green turtles were matching colors. Lanterns bloomed brightly on the trees, illuminating the road to the stadium. Obviously, everything is ready. Now is the entrance time. After they quickly walked into the woods along the passage illuminated by lanterns, more and more people were drilled on both sides of the passage. Probably because so many people evoked the excitement of Sirius, who had been squatting in prison for more than ten years. Ryan looked more and more and felt that he had a lot in common with Mr. Wolf in the Forbidden Forest. Does Sirius's animagus have husky bloodlines? Ryan thought curiously. But he thought he had given himself a lot of gifts just now, and Ryan decided to bury this impolite thought deeply in his heart. The Black Family S box is there to serve your family loyally. The ticket inspector glanced at the ticket in Sirius S hand www.mtlnovel.com. The tone became very friendly. 
The vision of each game is the most open the high-level box is waiting for you. After the ticket was checked, Sirius looked a little depressed in the passage. Ryan leaned up and asked, Mr. Black, you look a little uncomfortable. Yeah, I made a mistake. When I saw him, Ryan, you had helped him a lot, Sirius directly spoke of his anxiety. Harry is not James after all, he should not be sitting with my old man, but with friends of the same age. I actually forgot. You are still very young. Ryan first touted a polite sentence and said, Why don't I and Harry change it? I don't know if the seat can be changed. The top box can change seats in all positions, but as far as I know, the top box has a better view than the small box of the Black family. Sirius said a little embarrassedly. It's okay, I also feel uncomfortable sitting with a group of big figures in the wizarding world. But I think this should be told to Mr. Weasley first. Ryan waved his hand and said nothing. Soon Mr. Weasley agreed to this seat change plan except that Hermione also had to change seats with Sirius after hearing the incident. The reason is that Sirius just happened to be with Harry once and stayed together better. One is that she thinks it is not bad to sit in the box of the Sirius family. After all, she is very interested in Quidditch. A good position should be reserved for those who really love Quidditch. Chapter 252, Quidditch World Cup. Sirius would have politely refused. After all, he thought that Harry was good enough. He did not need to go up to occupy a good position. But Mr. Weasley looked at Hermione, who was standing next to Ryan and grasped Sirius if he understood. Then he smiled and said, Of course, I wish you a happy game, Sirius. After, everyone followed the fuchsia carpet on the stairs all the way up, and the flow of people was divided into the left and right stands. Until the staircase leading to the highest box, Lane and the Weasley family and Harry said goodbye, then follow the signs on the corridor to the Black family box. Isn't that your reason just now? Ryan questioned Hermione around her. Really not. Hermione replied. There are two countries ministers of magic and a bunch of celebrities in the top box. I think it is not appropriate for me to watch the game there now. Well, this answer is very British. Traditional British people tend to value the class very seriously. For example, the famous Royal Jockey Club is divided into the Royal Auditorium, Queen Anne and Village Auditorium and Windsor Auditorium. Each auditorium has a series of cumbersome requirements for the dress and dress of the above personnel. But countless British people still regard this as a top social occasion. Middle class girls like Hermione must be greatly affected by this environment. But seriously, as the youngest Merlin medalist in decades, we are not too much sitting there. Lane said with a shrug. Okay, and I don't want you to have a boring game with the old man alone. What do you think of this reason? Hermione's face was a little red, and he stumped and walked straight forward. Dot. This of course is a very good reason. Lane walked a few steps to the door of the Black's box. Then the gentleman opened the door for Hermione. Come in, my lady. Hermione walked into the room with a smile on her mouth, and Ryan followed. This is a small box with only a dozen square meters, although there is no full view of the top box, but because the view from the top of the stadium is also very good, looking out from the railing, it can be seen that the box is just on the side of the golden goal post. The whole house is mainly emerald green and silver. Two green and silver plated chairs are placed side by side in the center of the room. A coffee table is placed in the middle of the seat. There is a silver tray with several small plates or snacks and two glasses of freshly squeezed juice. Is this the essence of the pure blood family? It is deeper than expected. After the two sat down, Ryan took a sip of ice juice. He even found that the private rooms on this floor had magic shields facing the arena, and the inside could be clearly seen outside but the outside was invisible at all. When he looked down upon the wizards squeezed in the row seats below, Lane fully felt the power of those pure blood families. But to say that the real cow is the Weasley family, the trop box only has 20 seats, but the Weasley family got half of the tickets in one breath. It can even bring in outsiders like Ryan and Hermione. You should know that in addition to the seats of the Weasleys, the remaining seats are the ministers of magic of the two countries, Ludo, the director of the sports department of the Ministry of Magic, and Batic Crouch who should be the boss of Percy. In short, it is an important person who can trigger the world war of the wizards after the house is destroyed. I don't know if Batty Crouch, who was supposed to be there today, will still be there. After all, he changed too many plots before, and under the butterfly effect, Ryan has no confidence in letting the plot follow the original style. Go on. Of course, if Batty Crouch is not there, it means that what I have done is not in vain, and there is no strong world consciousness that controls everything in this world. When Ryan was thinking about this, there was a thunderous thunder the sound rang through the empty stadium. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to you. Welcome to the 422nd Quidditch World Cup Final. Ryan easily heard that today's commentary should be led by the passionate director of sports, Ludo Bagman. With the noise from the audience, the board on the right side of the Ryan just displayed the advertisement on the right. After the advertisement of the last multi-flavored bean, estimated as the most expensive one in the auction ranking, the score at the moment appeared. Bulgaria 0, Love Island 0. Ludo's voice continued to sound on the venue. Okay, gossip less, please allow me to introduce the mascot of the Bulgarian national team. 
Underneath the box where they are located is a neat bright red square array, which burst out loud cheers. Mascot, Ryan's first reaction was the lovely panda at the Asian Games the year before entering Hogwarts, but suddenly his mind recalled the passage in the novel, so he quickly converged. After all, this occasion is not a good place to appreciate the Bulgarian team's mascot carefully. Think about the Chinese translation of Meiwa, you can guess what kind of magical creature this is, but Ryan thinks they should be regarded as a sub-ethnic race. After all, they look very similar to humans most of the time, and more importantly, they do not have reproductive isolation from humans. Furong is an example. This also proves that the earliest source of blood power of some pure blood families may come from this kind of intermarriage with magical creatures. Spell like abilities, such as a certain charm. When these Meiwa came to the field, Ryan really felt a strange magical temptation. It's just that this temptation has no effect on him when Ryan's mental defense is fully on. But even if all the magical factors are filtered out, Ryan must admit that the uniform characteristics of these charms are beautiful, very beautiful, very beautiful. At this time, the green square opposite the box was in chaos. Many people were tearing the green flowers on their chests and the forgiving hats on their heads. In this contrast, Ryan's performance even seemed too calm. Do you think Meiwa is beautiful? Just as Ryan watched them dancing with interest in the air, there was a voice around him. It's just some kind of powerful magical effect www.mtlnovel.com for me. The good-looking skin is far more attractive than the interesting soul. But this kind of legendary dance may not be seen for a lifetime once, if you don't take a look at this time, you will have no chance in the future. Ryan replied naturally. Then a fresh glass of ice juice was handed over to Ryan. A hundred maidens, Bulgarians expect to attract enough supporters. They seem to be able to do a lot of fans supporting the Irish team to tear off their hats and decorations, and expressed full dissatisfaction with Meiwa's departure. The Irish team quickly recovered the situation. First, a large golden and green comet flew into the field, and then turned into two small comets scattered, and finally formed a huge green clover in the air. When the clover floated in the air, countless gold coins crackled down from the sky. These gold coins are mini and dense, as if there was a golden rain on the ground. One uses color and one uses money. These two ministry of magic are really trivial. But obviously everyone liked it. Ryan saw that most people in the underground were picking up gold coins, and even dissatisfaction with Meiwa's departure disappeared. Lean picked up a few gold coins that fell in the box, and Hermione teased behind, Don't you know that this is the little dwarf's gold coin? Of course I know. But I'm curious why their gold coins disappear after an hour, Ryan said, sitting back on his seat and studying the gold coins. Chapter 253 Quidditch World Cup. As Ryan began to seriously analyze the magic contained in the little dwarf gold coin, Hermione held the panoramic telescope and looked around. Suddenly she murmured to herself, how did those two guys learn the magical biology class? What a shame. After hearing that, Ryan raised his head and picked up the telescope in the direction of Hermione. As a result, he saw Harry and Ron holding a handful of gold coins in the top box and giggling. Seriously, it's a shame to be so in front of a bunch of big figures in the magic world. You said that a lot of people may not have learned to protect the magical creatures, but you are justified. Of course, if Ron and Harry were here, they would definitely say, who is as perverted as you, and have memorized the entire book as soon as you got the textbook. At this time, Ludo's voice rang again. Now, ladies and gentlemen, warm welcome Bulgarian national Quidditch team. I will introduce to you Dimitrov. In his introduction, the players played one after another. I have to say that although Ludo is a bad gambler, his job is really good. At least the atmosphere of the game has now risen completely. Every time Ludo called a name, the audience below echoed loudly. Especially when it comes to the Irish team, half of the home advantage makes the cheers of the audience resound throughout the stadium. There is also our referee today, Hassan Mustafa, president of the internationally supported International Quidditch Federation, who flew from Egypt not far away from thousands of miles. In the final introduction, he came from afar from Egypt. The referee wore a golden robe that reminded him of the great desert in one body and at a glance. He walked towards the court and he kicked the box open. All kinds of went straight into the air, and the smallest golden thief disappeared without a trace. As he blew the delicate silver whistle in his mouth, the game began. Ryan, as someone who doesn't have a bad feeling for Quidditch, can also see that the game here is indeed top-notch, because all athletes fly much faster than those in school, and even form a red and green shadow in the air. At this time, Ludo's commentary speed soared, because many times he had appeared in the hands of another person just after the name Ghost Flying Ball. A large number of Quidditch tactics that only Ryan had seen in the book were used in a general manner, and even Ludo was too late to report the names of these tactics. In comparison, it must be said that Quidditch in school is actually just a game for students to relax in their spare time. At this time, the telescope could not be used to see the whole situation, so Ryan simply launched the magic version of Eagle Eye. Sure enough, 
He perfectly balanced the two purposes of watching the audience and watching carefully. Eagle eyes. Ryan also added this magic to Hermione who was watching the game excitedly next to him. This is the magic that Ryan transformed from the magic of the same name in Ning Fu's magic book after analyzing his eagle eyes. Although the effect belongs to the reduced version of the original eagle eye, the advantage is that it can be used by others. After the light blue magical light touched Hermione, Hermione was surprised by the magic effect and asked, Is this the eagle eye technique in that book? Have you already used it? Well. What do you think? Ryan didn't say that there was still research on the results of his own combination of eagle eye surgery. It's pretty good, it's clearer now to watch the game. This magic is very convenient, but I haven't learned this part yet. After speaking, Hermione cheered up with joy, because this time the Irish team entered the game the first ball. After carefully watching the players on the field, Lane thought that the Irish chaser was well trained and subtle. As expected, the Irish team scored three goals in just ten minutes and changed the score to 300 which caused supporters in green clothes to cheer and applaud. Soon afterwards, the Bulgarian team also launched an attack and scored a goal, after which the maidens jumped out and started mental disturbance. Taking advantage of this time, the two seekers Crum and Lindsay fell quickly among the other players. God, this is almost the same as the leap of faith. Lane looked at the man who was faster than the free fall in surprise. There are no haystacks underneath. They are really warriors. As a result, this was just Crum's fake action. Lin Chi was directly dropped on the ground by a sway. Fortunately, after checking, he was still able to play. The next 25 minutes was the most intense game Ryan had seen, and the score quickly increased to 130. 10. This also gave Bulgarian players unscrupulous means to start attacking players directly. They elbowed the Irish goalkeeper, and then directly hit the Irish chaser with the ball. Naturally, the Bulgarian team was fined two goals and the score was further increased. The Bulgarian team mascot Meiwa and the mocking little dwarf fought. They turned into a thunder-like bird-headed person with wings on their backs and then threw some flaming things toward the little dwarf. The members of the Ministry of Magic rushed into the field to separate them as much as possible, but it seemed to have little effect. This is really fierce. Ryan felt that the battle on the ground was as intense as the game in the sky. It must be said that magical creatures have their unique aspects in many places. At least Ryan feels that creatures like humans with human wisdom and talented magic have a monotonous magic, but if they are not prepared for the combat, they are basically it can be seen as similar to a wizard with simple training. Of course. This judgment is not necessarily accurate, because the specific combat effectiveness of the British Ministry of Magic staff has always been a mystery. The staff members chased and beaten by Meiwa may not represent the overall level of the Ministry of Magic. Players on the field were also affected by the dogfight, and their emotions became more excited. Crumb was glued to his nose by a walking ball, and his nose bleed, and the referee was basically flawless because he was lit by Meiwa because of the broom tail. Finally, Lynch first discovered the golden snitch. But Crum caught the roaming ball with a superior skill. The Irish team won. Bagman, a supporter of the Irish team, shouted www.mtlnovel.com. It seemed a bit dazed by the sudden end of the game. Crum caught the golden thief but the Irish team won. Oh my god, I don't think anyone expected this to be the end. It's an incredible and exciting game. Hermione said after sitting back. What do you think? It's true. This is true of both technology and tactics. Lane replied. For example, when Crum found that it was impossible to recover the score. He immediately chose to stop loss. This kind of decisive decision is not what ordinary people can do. Sounds like you admire Crum? Yes, it's already great to reach the final with a team that is not as good as Ireland. In this case, the only victory for the Bulgarian team may be a quick decision, catching the golden snitch before the Irish team wins 150 points. It's just that he's bad luck, and he didn't find the golden snitch within the planned time. After finding out that the situation is unfavorable. He can immediately choose to give up the illusory hope and directly end the game with a better looking score. Such smart people are indeed worthy of praise. Ryan carefully analyzed Crumb's dazzling performance in this game. At this time, Fudge took the trophies from the hands of the two wizards, and the Bulgarians who first reached the top box still got cheers. Especially when he remembered Crumb's name, the whole stadium gave him a very warm and deafening cheer. After the Irish also entered the top box to receive the trophy, when they raised the trophy around the week, the game was over. Chapter 254 Rats of change. Lean took Hermione out of the box and walked to the main stairs covered with fuchsia carpet, just saw the Weasleys and Harry coming down the stairs. After seeing Ryan and Hermione, Harry immediately came up and took Ryan's hand and thanked him repeatedly, thanking them for giving him and his godfather such a good place to watch the game. Harry didn't stop thanking until the twin brothers came over. Hey, Ryan, look at the money we just gambled to win, a full 200 gallons. After the twins opened a pocket, it was full of gold coins. Now we can hire a person and we don't have to reduce shipments when we go to school. George said quietly, Ah, this doesn't seem to be true Gallon. Ryan took out a few gold coins from his pocket and said, On the one hand, he just passed a few gold coins of the dwarf demon. What the hell? On the other hand, do you feel that these gold coins are too new? As far as I know, 
The currency of the magic world wears down a little bit, but it does not mean that it will not wear out, and each of these piles of gold coins is the same as the one just minted. Dirt or scratches, can't you? Fred said in disbelief. Ludo is an official of the Ministry of Magic, so don't lie to us with fake gallons. In theory, this should be the case, but I can't believe the bad gambling's morality. As for what I say, believe it or not, you have to look at yourself. I just say what I suspect. After discussing for more than ten seconds, the twins went to find their father, and after a few moments of hands gestures, Mr. Weasley asked Sirius to take the children to the camp first. He and the twins went to find Ludo to make an explanation. Sure enough, even if Mr. Weasley didn't support children's gambling, he would still stand by the children to support the children when such children were deceived. After a group of excited wizards, Lane followed Sirius back to the camp. The tents of the wizards all have space to fold magic inside. For example, the tent that Ryan will live tonight is an old-fashioned three-bedroom, because Mr. Weasley and the twins have not returned. So on Sirius's proposal, everyone decided to drink a little cocoa milk before going to bed. Immediately, everyone will argue about the game just now. Ten minutes later, Mr. Weasley came back angrily with the twins, carrying a much smaller pocket in his hand. Walking to the fire, he took a sip of cocoa milk and said angrily, I and Ludo have known each other for more than ten years but I never expected that he would use this method to deceive my son. What? Ron exclaimed. Is there really a problem with a bag of gold coins just now? Yes, all are gold coins of Dwarf Demon. Mr. Weasley said. The result of this match was unusual, and Ludo lost a lot of money. So I moved on some unmovable thoughts. When I found him, he had mortgaged his bracelet, and finally said that he had to return half of the money for a long time. Dot so kids, you must stay away from gambling in the future, you know? Got it, Dad. Understood. It's okay. Mr. Weasley. Everyone at the fire said verbally. Soon everyone started discussing today's exciting game. From the night sky, there were loud and brutal singing voices, and the little dwarfs continued to shuttle above their heads. Ryan learned from the twin brothers around him that the big box was full of important people today, including old but Dick Crouch. It seems that the world has indeed changed. This also shows that the plot advantage he masters will become smaller and smaller. But now his strength is no longer weak, and he has enough confidence to cope with future changes. Thinking of this, Ryan also let go of his heart and started talking about the game with everyone beside the fire. Even if everyone has been sitting for more than 20 minutes, the surrounding area is still so noisy. Watching the chaotic camp Ryan moved to Percy and asked with some worried tone, it feels that everyone is a little too excited, you said there will be Quidditch gangsters at night. Quidditch rogue, what is that? Percy was curious about this word that he had never touched because he had never heard of it before. Do you mean someone like a football hooligan? Hermione, who was sitting on the side, reacted first, and then explained to a group of wizards with doubts on their faces. In the mull world, there is also a sport that is almost as popular as Quidditch, called football, and football hooliganism refers to provoking trouble and disturbance on the field or after the game. The stadium and public order, people who jeopardize social stability. Ryan is also very reasonable to have this worry. After all, the British football hooligans in the mull world are the most famous, and I think that once the wizards make trouble, they are much worse than the mulls. The most serious trouble in the mull world football hooligan killed 40 people and injured more than 300. The British team was suspended for five years until I only allowed the British team to participate in European tournaments one year before enrollment. What would happen if the wizards made trouble? Ryan added. Your worries are not unreasonable. Mr. Weasley thought after listening to Ryan and Hermione's speech. As far as I know, the Ministry of Magic has concentrated its main energy on pre-match and in play. Now most of them everyone is on vacation. At least now if there is a riot, the Ministry of Magic may not be able to draw enough people to calm down the ecology. How can this be? There are so many people here. Percy looked at his father in disbelief, because in his eyes the Ministry of Magic was supposed to be a very rigorous department. At this time, how could the manpower on duty be insufficient? First of all, strictly speaking, now the game is over. Secondly, everyone has been busy for so long so the department will not arrange too many people on duty. After all, everyone is very tired. www.mtlnovel.com Weasley Mr. showed an expression that he was accustomed to. No, I'm going to tell Mrs. Burns. Percy stood solemnly. Mr. Weasley wanted to say something but gave up again, probably because he saw the confident self from his son when he first entered the Ministry of Magic. As far as I know, these riots generally attack more special places. If it is here, it is the tent where the Ministry of Magic staff is located or the administrators of the Mull Camps. Ryan quickly reminded at this time. Got it. Percy waved his hand, then squeezed into a group of Green Irish team supporters and disappeared. It's so nice to be young. Yes. Sirius and Mr. Weasley touched the glass after a sigh of emotion. After we chatted for a while, Mr. Weasley rushed everyone to bed and went to bed, but Percy did not return until this time, but the noise around him was getting louder. Now I feel a little uneasy, Mr. Weasley said to the children with a serious face. So everyone take a break early, 
and don't change your pajamas when you go to bed at night. Just take off your coat and put it on the side. Every individual should also put their wands directly where they can be reached. Ryan and Ron are in a house. After washing, the two put the wand on the head of the bed as Mr. Weasley instructed. Then they said goodnight to each other and lay down with their clothes. Although it was still noisy outside, the excitement quickly rushed into Ryan's brain after the excitement. He fell asleep within a few minutes. Chapter 255, Small Accidents and Peace. Get up, emergency. Ryan suddenly heard a roar in his ear while sleeping soundly. He subconsciously grabbed the wand and sat up. What happened? Where did it happen? Ron, who was sleeping in the upper bunk, also woke up and asked his further after lighting his wand and glancing at him. I'm not sure for now. I can only see the outbreak of fighting in the direction of the camp manager's hut. Although we are far away from us, we still have to prepare. Mr. Weasley said solemnly. After Ryan grabbed his wand and climbed out of the tent, he found that the singing around him had stopped, and there was a faint cry in the distance. He even saw some tents lit in the direction of the campkeeper's cabin in the distance. Damn, the children pulled out your wand, it should be an emergency now. Sirius ran over Harry at this time, and the crumpled pants on them showed that they were also sleeping in clothes. At this time, everyone had gathered at the door of the tent. After listening to Sirius's words, they formed a circle to protect the girl in the middle and raised their wand. Some people in pajamas also crawled out of the surrounding tents at this time. After they came out, these people mostly panicked and asked what happened to the people around them. However, because the riots are far away, people around can still stay calm and stand in front of their tents to observe the development of the situation. After waiting for a while, the movements in the distance gradually slowed down. It seems that this riot is not as powerful as in the original. Sirius also discovered this. He put down his wand and said to the people around him, I think the tents should be calmed down. You can sit down and wait. There is no need to be so nervous. After he finished, he pulled a piece of moisture proof. The mat took the lead and sat on the ground. Lean after they looked at it. They sat down one after another, and those around them also learned something. The anxiety soon disappeared, and some people even brewed some hot cocoa in hot water for everyone. Soon afterwards, the movements of the battle disappeared completely, and Percy's shirt came a little messy. After saying hello to his family and friends, he pulled out his wand and pointed it at his throat. The voice is loud. Then what he said was like thunder so everyone around could hear clearly. Someone got drunk and made trouble just now, but with the efforts of the Ministry of Magic, the riots have now subsided. The troublemakers have been dispelled and the order has been restored. So everyone can continue to rest now. Percy then lifted the magic and turned to his father. After I reminded Director Boons, she ordered several key areas where our few staff ambushed. Half an hour ago, there was a group of masks in black robes. The people raided the camp manager's hut. But fortunately we ambushed ahead of time so that they didn't succeed. Later, the group watched that the staff of the Ministry of Reinforcement increased and all them escaped. After the situation subsided, the Ministry of Magic all strikers and rows were urgently recalled to maintain order. Those of us who work overtime temporarily were put back. Very good, you did very well today. Mr. Weasley said after patting Percy's narration and patting Percy's shoulder. This time Ryan also gained four offset points, although not many, but this should also be just the beginning. After all. Batty Crouch Jr. needs to brush a copy of the entire school year, so the initial task score is also low. In the middle of the night, everyone who had a lingering fear just wore a coat and lay in the tent's living room for a few hours. At dawn, they collected the tent and took a door key and returned to Ferret Mountain. Arthur are you all right? As soon as they walked into the courtyard of the burrow, they saw Mrs. Weasley, who was nervous, came out to greet them. Still holding a rolled up Daily Prophet, Ryan could see Fudge on the front page of the Daily Prophet waving alive and waving to the surroundings. The title next to it read, Minister Fudge was fully prepared and successfully quelled the riots. Oh, it's grabbing merit again. Obviously it was Miss Burns' credit yesterday. The Prophet Daily used several pages to tout Fudge, and even described him as a savior of the unknown Prophet. This made Percy, who was busy most of the night yesterday, very dissatisfied. The Ministry of Magic has always been like this, you have to adapt more, Sirius said in an ironic tone. He and Harry also came to the burrow together. After all, when the door key was just collected, the more people in a place the more they could get it first. After eating, Sirius took Harry back to his residence. In the following week, Mr. Weasley and Percy were rarely at home. Every morning, when the rest of the family hadn't gotten up, the two of them left the house and didn't come back long after dinner. However, Ryan had a good time during this time. He and Hermione finally analyzed and mastered some knowledge about body defamation, making it possible for some bodies to be animalized. Although this riot has quickly subsided, after all, it made us lose face internationally, so now Fudge wants all of us to work overtime to restore our reputation. Although I think this kind of behavior is stupid, but since this just follow the order and do it anyway. Anyway, when we're in the field and can go to work, we can go to a coffee shop or fast food restaurant to take a break. Just pay attention to stop talking about Quidditch when Mull comes over. Hurry up, 
Percy said at dinner. It is estimated that there is no drama. Mr. Weasley just walked in with a tired face at this time. Last task it didn't find enough news last time, so she has been camping in the Ministry of Magic recently. Now that she has found the missing old Bertha, it seems that this is the headline for tomorrow daily. Oh, my God. Percy rolled his eyes. Percy Jorkins has a memory like a leaky crucible. This is not the first time she has disappeared. Every time he disappears, he will disappear for a month or two. It seems that my holiday is in trouble again. Because tomorrow is the day to go to school, Ryan quickly went upstairs to check their luggage. After taking account, he found that Mrs. Weasley had helped herself to buy all textbooks and supplies and some potions and consumables. As he put these things in the suitcase, Ron's fuss was heard behind him. What kind of play is this? Ron held a weird-looking dress in his hand, which looked to Ryan like a sauce purple velvet dress with a ruffle like a moldy ruffle on the neckline. There are also matching laces on the cuffs. I've seen similar clothes on oil paintings and museums. This should be a dress. Doesn't everyone have to bring a dress gown this year? I think this is your dress gown. Ryan glanced at it. Know what happened www.mtlnovel.com museum, God, how old is this dress? By the way, what does your dress gown look like? Lean took out a folded garment from the box and unfolded it. This is a dark blue dress robe with a very simple top. There is nothing but a little silver pattern on the edge. It looks like a school uniform robe. I bought it before I went to Brazil last year. This year is a bit short. I don't want to waste money on buying one. I changed it a little with alchemy and then wore it this year. Lane pointed to his dress. I think it would be more luxurious to change it with alchemy than to buy another one. Ron shrugged, then looked at his dress helplessly. I would rather not wear this shirtless. Not at all, Ryan said. If you are willing to pay the raw material fee, I can help you to change it. He finished looking at Ron's robe, at least one gallon and three psych. Here, I hope it looks better. Ron thought and gritted his teeth. He took twenty seco from a loose floor and handed it to Ryan. Then he went out and looked away. After ten minutes, Ron heard Ryan shouting in the room, you can come in and see. Ron came in and found that his clothes became almost unknown to her. The whole dress became bright purple and the unsightly lace became a simple style with silver edges. The overall look was a bit like Ryan's own robe. Thank you so much, otherwise I will definitely be ashamed. After that, Ron happily packed his luggage. Chapter 256, Back to School. Annual school day. But the weather is so bad now Ryan saw the pouring rain and the window slamming against the window when she got up. After breakfast, Mr. Weasley decided to drive everyone to King's Cross Station in London, and Bill and Charlie decided to send them to King's Cross Station together. Percy was about to go. But a serious incident happened in Plymouth. He had to eat a bite of bread in a hurry and left in a coat. Percy's work is good, but there are too many such emergencies. After watching Percy's phantom disappearing into the rain curtain, Mrs. Weasley said distressedly, It's the same way to do a career. When I first entered the Ministry of Magic, I didn't work overtime for three days. Mr. Weasley stepped forward and hugged Molly comfortingly. Yeah, how capable you were at that time. Molly started to recall the past, and then quickly responded, The children are all here. I have to clean up the house. Everyone here felt like they were stuffed with dog food. After dinner, everyone rushed to London in that classic car. Unfortunately, the weather in London is just as bad. When you got off at King's Cross Station, the rain outside was even heavier than before, and you could not even see the scene outside the window. After opening the door, raindrops poured on them with their faces covered. When they carried the suitcase across the busy street and entered the station, they were soaked. Today the weather is terrible. After entering the platform of nine and three quarters, many Hogwarts students and parents on the platform can be seen as a dark ghost shadow under the thick smoke from the front of the car. After finding one to put the luggage in, Ryan ran to the platform to say goodbye to Mrs. Weasley, Bill and Charlie. When Charlie hugged Ginny and said goodbye to her, he revealed a message that this year he is likely to see everyone in the school soon. Later, under the inquiry of the twins, he revealed that Hogwarts might hold a major event this year. It's a pity that she blew the whistle before she finished, and everyone could only get on the bus quickly. Thank you for staying with us, Mrs. Weasley, Hermione said. At this time they had boarded the train and closed the door. She leaned out of the window and talked to Mrs. Weasley. Indeed this summer vacation will be a very good memory of my student stage, Mrs. Weasley, Lane said. After thanking him and drying his clothes with magic, Ryan sat in his seat and began to recall certain things. This morning Moody was not attacked. It means that things have changed. But the disappearance of Peshaw shows that Voldemort's return has become a reality. But what method will Voldemort use to resurrect what about it? After losing the prophetic advantage, Ryan felt that the future seemed to be hidden in a mist. Afterwards, Harry also came to the carriage and told about the nightmare he had about Voldemort during the summer vacation. Ron and Hermione only thought that Harry might be too nervous, and only Ryan knew that this represented Voldemort's return to the countdown. But he didn't tell the story because the story has changed. Without knowing where the enemy is lurking, it is said that this has no effect except being treated as a lunatic, was very plain along the way, only Malfoy came in to provoke a wave. This made Lane doubt the tutor of the Pureblood family again. But what Malfoy said was really hurtful, and when the train arrived at Hogsmeade station, 
Ron was still sullen. The weather outside is also in the same mood as Ron, even if they took a half-day train from the south of the UK to the north of the UK, the weather has not improved, and it can even be worse. It rained violently and fiercely, as if buckets of cold water kept pouring on their heads. Ryan took the owl cage in Hermione's hands at this time and added a waterproof spell to the friends around him. Then he walked on the carriage with a pile of water. God, this weather is a boat ride across the lake. It would be dangerous if there is no magic. Hermione looked at the back of her grizz walk to the lake with the first year freshman through the window after getting in the car. With emotion, magic is also dangerous. I remember turning over the boat in this weather. Fortunately, the squid in the lake saved everyone in time. Ron adjusted his mood at this time, so the three on the carriage were not in magic. People born in the world he explained. When the castle entered the hall, Pippi began to throw balloons filled with water. Fortunately, Ryan had already prepared to help herself and Hermione to stop all the water droplets. But Harry was unlucky enough to be hit by a water polo on his head, so that when he walked into the restaurant, his hair was still dripping down. As everyone knows, Pippi Ghost represents the soul formed by the suppressed emotions of all the children in this school similar to Dementors. So unlike other ghosts, he can pick up various objects but can also be attacked by various objects. But because Pippi's qualifications are too old, even if Dumbledore was a student when Pippi was already here, so the teachers only limited the management of Pippi so that he did not overdo it. Of course, there are also reasons why Pippi Ghost is directly bound to Hogwarts Castle. As long as the castle exists, Pippi Ghost will always exist. However, to the best of Ryan's knowledge, the most important information about Pippi was Hogwarts, a school history about the unsuccessful expulsion of him in 1876. The administrator at the time used a scimitar, crossbow, shotgun and a cannon at Hogwarts, but he failed. Pippi even shot the window at random after escaping the trap, putting everyone in danger, and the castle was evacuated. Until then the headmaster Euplasia Moore made a concession. You have to know that in 1876, the guns have entered the era of metal shells loaded with guns. After seeing this record in the book, Lane confirmed two points. First, Hogwarts could not use electronic products because of powerful magic radiation, which is similar to the electromagnetic pulse bomb and causes serious interference to all electronic products. Not the anti malitums or anti-technological spells imposed by some colleagues in the previous life from the level of world rules. Second, look at the description that the Pippi Ghost shot in the book puts everyone in danger of life. Mull weapons can indeed pose a sufficient threat to wizards at least little wizards. This conclusion prompted Ryan to bomb the group of black wizards with fat bombs in the pyramid. However, the dark wizards who survived the explosion in the pyramid at the time also proved that the mole weapons threatened almost zero for some powerful wizards, which also dispelled Ryan's plan to give Voldemort a fat nuclear bomb. After everyone walked into the auditorium, the upper grades started to help the lower grades organize their clothes after drying their clothes. After all, today is the opening ceremony of the school, so sloppy and sloppy is definitely not appropriate. After finishing the clothes, everyone started talking. Colin Crivey told Ryan that his brother also enrolled in school this year. Ryan deeply suspected that their parents might not be Muzz but dumb cannons www.mtlnovel.com because for mage wizards, the probability of both brothers becoming wizards is too small. A man with a fake wound was sitting in the position of the black magic defense class teacher on the rostrum. Many people also noticed this. Ron whispered after seeing it, God. Madide Hamoudi. Is this the black magic defense teacher this year? Crazy-eyed Moody? Who is this? Harry asked curiously on the side. A retired topperer. Ron explained to the people around him, My father admires him, but it's no wonder that half of the cells in Azkaban are filled by him. It's just because there are so many enemies in this way, he slowly becomes a little neurotic. After someone once planned to shake hands with him but was mistaken for him as an attack and injured him, he retired. I didn't expect Dumbledore. This year one will invite him to be a professor of black magic defense. PTSD patients. Ryan concluded. P what's that? Ron was confused now. Post-traumatic stress disorder is often found in people who have experienced war, because past experiences have made them irritable, over alert, amnestic, and frightened. This is the case with an Iraqi patient of my parents. He minutes explained on the side. Indeed. Moody's is like this. After listening to Hermione's narration, Ron expressed her absolute agreement with her. They just finished the discussion on this topic, and the door of the auditorium opened. This also represents the official start of the opening ceremony. Chapter 257, News of the Top 3 As Hagrid brought a group of cute girls into the auditorium, everyone was completely quiet. This year's freshmen are shaking more than previous years, which can be related to each of them getting soaked. The thousand-year-old branch cap was taken out again, and then a new song was sung. But seriously, this kind of stinky, long, out-of-tune song really tortures people's ears. Sometimes the song ended, everyone applauded to return to the quiet and happy ear. As newcomers were shouted up to Lion, they started whispering to discuss these new students. Colin's younger brother was assigned to Gryffindor. As soon as he ran to the table, he excitedly told his brother that he had been rolled up by the big squid and put it back on the boat. After that, 
Colin started to introduce his elders and elder sisters to his brother. Naturally, the first person to be introduced is Harry, which is necessary as the backbone of the Harry fan meeting. Of course, this enthusiasm made Harry a little embarrassed. He turned his gaze to the sorting hat and stared at it carefully, as if there was something attracting attention on it. When Colin introduced Ryan, Ryan nodded with a smile, then waved his wand to coax Dennis' clothes. Thank you seniors. Dennis thanked him very politely. The branch ceremony was over soon, but fortunately, there was no leader speech. Dumbledore stood up and just smiled at all the students, spread his arms and made a welcome gesture. I have only two words to say to you, he said, and a thick voice echoed in the auditorium. Eat it. No wonder Dumbledore can become a respected headmaster, because he knows that in this case everyone needs a hot dinner instead of listening to some long talk. The entire auditorium was quiet for a while, only the sound of knives and forks hitting the plate and the sound of chewing. Hermione learned from Nick that Hogwarts had hundreds of elves, but this time she just paused and then continued to eat the steak in front of her. It seems that both Ryan's influence and the fact that Harry was nearly killed by Doblin have changed Hermione's perception of the house elves. Soon everyone was full and as the last dessert was packed up, Dumbledore's voice rang again in the auditorium. First of all, it is routine to add a few prohibited items and explain where it is not allowed to go. However, Ryan never listened to these things. After all, he was full of stuff that did not meet school regulations, and he would go to the Forbidden Forest once a month to see his friends. After introducing everyone to this year's new black magic defense class Professor Moody, there was only a small applause. Ryan glanced at Moody above, seeing his magic eyes drooping and continually scanning the students and the professors next to it. After watching Moody on the stage for a few seconds, Moody turned his magic eyes as if he felt something. Ryan can only quickly turn his attention to other places. Anyway, after a short observation, Ryan had no way to judge whether this Moody was real. He could only wait until later in class. At this time, everyone felt tired after eating and many people were even drowsy. At this time Dumbledore released an explosive news. I also regret to tell you that the College Cup Quidditch race will not be held this year. Boom. The whole hall was turbulent. As we all know, the wizarding sports is a Quidditch. The meaning of Dumbledore's sentence is equivalent to a middle school principal telling his classmates that all physical education classes have been cancelled this year. If not his prestige is high enough to estimate that there are protests now. Soon everyone was quiet and waiting for Dumbledore to explain further. Fortunately, Dumbledore did not disappoint everyone. He quickly cleared his throat and explained. This is because a large event will start in October and will continue throughout the school year, occupying a lot of time and energy of teachers but I believe that you can all have a lot of fun from it. I am very happy to announce to everyone in the next few months at Hogwarts this year, we will be very honored to host a very exciting event, which has not been held for more than a century. I am very happy to tell you that the three strongest players the competition will be held at Hogwarts this year. You may find that everyone is more irritable and Dumbledore said it in a very simple breath. Oh no are you kidding me? Fred shouted in shock. I'm not kidding, Mr. Weasley, Dumbledore smiled. But since you mentioned joking, I heard a funny joke about a monster, a dominatrix, and a dwarf. They all went into the same tavern. Okay, this shows that Dumbledore is a very humorous person, but this time it is obviously inappropriate. Fortunately, Professor McGonagall's cough sounded at the right time, and he saved the headmaster's topic very promptly. Under the supervision of Professor McGonagall, the headmaster finally popularized the story of the top three for those who do not know the game of course, Ryan, who knows the content of the game, is not impatient and takes every word seriously. After listening to the whole speech, after all, he has reached a certain level of strength after more than three years of accumulation. After a series of thoughts, Ryan decided to abandon the previous state of fishing. After all, on the one hand, his own strength has made great progress in the past and he can directly participate in the plot to obtain more deviation points. On the other hand, unlike the restraintness of the Orientals, the West more respects people who can express themselves well. Just as the most striking thing in Western schools is the football captain and cheerleader instead of learning the best top students. Now that Ryan has convened an organization, he must find ways to demonstrate his leadership. The top three is the best stage. As for the principal's last rule, the restriction on the registration of people who are over 17 years old was directly ignored by Ryan www.mclenovel.com He currently has several methods that may be able to break through the magic detection method, if these methods are not Ryan will also give up if it works. After all, the age circle of the principal is actually a test. If Ryan cannot break through, it means that his strength is a certain gap from his self-assessment, which means that his own strength cannot guarantee the safe completion of the game. In this case, Ryan would not go to the court to shame. After speaking these words, Dumbledore hurried everyone to bed. Hermione approached Ryan when she returned to the Gryffindor Tower and asked, Will you participate in this game? After all, Hermione still remembered how Ryan took her as a trailing leg through the entire copy of the Pyramid Temple last year, so she only asked this question. In her eyes, 
The True Wizard Tournament is no more difficult than dealing with a bunch of dark wizards and evil magic creatures. I can only say that I really want to participate, but I don't know what method Dumbledore will use to limit everyone's age. Lane shrugged and replied to Hermione. On the way, the Weasley twins said aloud that they would use an aging agent to get through. But Tryon felt that at least this method could not deceive Dumbledore. After a heated discussion, everyone went to bed separately. After all, after a day of traveling in the wind and rain today, everyone was very tired. Ryan also returned to his dormitory with the flow, but he didn't sleep immediately, but began to figure out how to deceive Dumbledore's age circle. Chapter 258, One Week The first week after school starts, the course is very good for weight loss. Whether it is squeezing the Babo tuba pus in the herbal medicine class or trying to raise Hagrid's fried snails as some disgusting items that can't be eaten. Especially Hagrid's fried snail. Let's not talk about how he cultivated this kind of thing. In Ryan's eyes, his cultivation was completely in the wrong direction. Why did he have to train the snails in the fierce direction? The fried snails obviously looked like deformed, shelled lobsters. Wouldn't it be better to cultivate in the direction of consumption? After all, Ryan feels like a big lobster without a shell. It looks delicious. Just grab it to clean it, wrap it and fry it in egg oil. It will be very fragrant. Even if this kind of thing can grow as big as a small house in adulthood, it will grow out of the shell. But it is also convenient to peel the shell when it is large. Think about how many people can eat so much. And this week's key subject is Thursday's black magic defense lesson. Let's not say that anyone who took Moody's class a few days ago praised him. The most important thing is that Ryan needs an opportunity for close observation to confirm Moody's authenticity. But after the class, Ryan felt even more confused, because although Moody talked about the three unforgivable spells, he did not actually demonstrate it to everyone, nor did he let everyone experience how to resist the soul-taking spell. Instead, he combined his many years of experience with errors and use cases and stories to teach everyone how to resist these spells. After class, Leian asked the Weasley brothers as if disappointed. I thought that Moody could demonstrate those unforgivable spells, so I will just talk about some cases. Although he said it very well, it is still a bit different from what I imagined. After the twins glanced at each other, George said, in fact, this approach is very consistent with Moody's habits. After all, he has always been a person who adheres to the rules. In the war that year, he inspired all errors by this principle. So even if there were a lot of Ministry of Magic staff turned to mysterious people, but there was no a mutiny in the whole war. More than that, Fred added, at that time, the Ministry of Magic even lifted the restrictions on the use of lethal force against errors. But Moody still insisted that they can only be punished by trial. This idea made him do everything in battle. It is possible to catch the opponent alive and now a large number of Death Eaters in Azkaban are caught by his own hands. Of course, this concept also cost him. His legs and eyes were lost in the battle. Although I think Moody is a bit pedantic, our family admires the spirit that he can still stick to his ideas in a dangerous environment. Finally, George concluded. After saying goodbye to the twins, Ryan felt more confused because listening to the twins' description, now Moody looks like real. But Harry did have that nightmare. What would Voldemort do in this situation? Would he even send an undercover to Hogwarts? But no matter how much headache Ryan had about this matter, time still passed by day by day. Finally it was time for the first meeting time of the weekly Japanese semester book club. Sure enough, the hot spot of Hogwarts recently is Moody's and the True Wizard Tournament, and the members of the book club are also vulgar. After solving and practicing a problem accumulated during the summer vacation, everyone unanimously requested a little longer time to discuss the recent hot events in the school. After the Weasley twins sang harmonious introduction to Moody's achievements in being an error, he gave you a science popularization of what kind of person the new black magic defense class professor is. Everyone soon began to eagerly discuss the topic of the top three. Without discussing a few words, we talked about how to bypass the age restriction of registration, because everyone in the book club, even the oldest Weasley brothers, are several months away from the permitted age. Professor Dumbledore said at the opening banquet that due to the arduous danger of a hegemony project, he himself will ensure that no underage student deceives a fair referee to become a warrior of Hogwarts. This explains at least two things. A warrior is not chosen by Professor Dumbledore. Second, this so-called fair referee will not control the age of the warrior. He will only use his own power to judge who is the most suitable warrior. So Dumbledore said that he makes sure everyone who signs up is old enough. Ryan first expressed his opinion. I only know about the referee that the principal of the participating school must be a member of the jury. Hermione said, because in Hogwarts, a section of school history, it was recorded that in the 1792 hegemony, the warriors grabbed a chicken tail snake tail monster that was not controlled, rammed, and all three principals were injured. However, the three principals are certainly not the fair referees who chose the warriors, and their identity is destined not to take up this position. Justin finally spoke. No matter who the referee who chooses the warriors, as long as we can deceive the principal Dumbledore's age limit, so we boiled a pot of aging agent, if you want. You can come a little. Freda may I said to everyone. I don't think the aging agent can be useful. After all, this method is too simple. 
and the principal will not even think about it. After a little thought, Janku said, maybe you are right. George nodded to Janku. However, without other information, this is the only way we can think of. And the aging agent is not a common medicine. You can boil a little more and sell it to others. It is always a good thing to make some money whether it is unsuccessful or not. Jackie Swinton made a suggestion to the twins. The only question now is who is going to review the qualification of the warriors. If we don't know, we can't prepare for it. Alicia said with some confusion. I wrote to my parents to ask them for help, but I haven't heard the news so far. My grandma doesn't know how the warriors were selected www.mplnovel.com After all, this game has stopped for a century. Even when she was young. She had simply heard about it. Neville added on the side. Maybe the referee is not a human being. After all, under the influence of harassment, the wizards can hardly guarantee to make a decision under absolute fairness and calmness. Luna said in a generally erratic tone of singing. Everyone thought she was just a joke to make the atmosphere alive. Only Ryan gave Luna a surprised look. In short, until the curfew was about to begin when everyone was going back to the dormitory, this matter did not discuss a result. The only gains in the discussion were the twins. They decided to make more aging agents and sell them to other students. However, the top three competitions do not represent everything. Soon everyone will transfer their energy to their studies, because in the following days, the workload of the assignments arranged by the professors becomes heavier and heavier. For example, Professor McDonagall said directly in class, your exam is approaching. Although some students disagree, they think there is a full year before the exam. But Ryan felt a sense of familiarity in Professor McGonagall's tone. After all, as a person who has experienced the college entrance examination, reviewing one year before the exam in his memory is a routine operation. Soon the time came to the second week of Friday in the busy time, and it seems that Liu Ozen should return from his trip. He decided to take advantage of this opportunity to visit him and ask him to help answer questions about the alchemy accumulated during this period. Chapter 259, Reunion Truth At two o'clock in the morning on the second week of the second week of school, after all the roommates in the dormitory were asleep, Ryan opened the space door and went to the Wanji grocery store. After going to several worlds and collecting enough supplies, he came to the world of the Rose Girl. After going out of the space door, Ryan discovered that this time he appeared outside the gate of Liu Ozen's manor. Is different from the snow-covered snow that was everywhere when we left last time. The spring of Paris in March has already arrived. Although the tall deciduous trees are still bare, the greenery has slowly spread out. Let's not talk about the evergreen plants in Liu Ozen's manor, which are all trimmed into a conical little squirrel and spherical holly. Pansy, poppies, hyacinths, tulips, and daffodils in the garden in front of the mansion are already blooming, bringing vitality to this place. Crossing the unmanned gravel road, Lane came to the iron gate of the manor. After pulling the gold-plated chain next to the gate, a silver figure floated towards the gate. Ah, sir. I'm glad to see you again. Miss Robot Helen greeted Ryan happily. You guys are back? How is this trip? Miss Helene opened the door, and Ryan asked along the stone paved path while walking towards the house. This trip was awesome. We surrounded the whole of Western Europe. Both the old man and the young lady were having a good time. It wasn't until the day before yesterday that everyone had enough to come back. Having said that, they have already passed through the spring garden. In front of the house, Miss Helen extended a mechanical claw and opened the door for Ryan. The old man and the young lady are now chatting in the tea room. You can go directly to find them. Helen took over the road passed by Ryan and left. Waited to go upstairs into the tea room and knocked on the door. There was a slightly surprised voice of a young man. Ryan, are you here? Yes, teacher. Ryan opened the door to pay tribute to Liu Ozen. After raising his head, he discovered that Alice's younger sister had increased. In addition to the mercury lamp, there were three small dolls of similar size sitting on the table and drinking tea together. Oh, let me introduce these new sisters. Alice introduced the teacup. You already know the mercury lamp. The green hair on her left wearing a golden yellow Lolita style coat and red bloomers, is a canary. Hello, canary. Hello, brother Ryan. Ryan and canary asked after shaking hands, what about these two next to them? Oh, the two of the Mark twins. The eyes are green and red on the left, long brown hair is wearing a Bavarian style natural Lolita skirt, and the sister wearing the beige long lace scarf is the sister Queek Singshi. My sister Kang Singshi had short reddish brown hair in a dark blue men's dress and a gentleman's hat. Hello, Queek Singshi. Hello. Kang Sing Shi. Ryan shook hands with them after listening to Alice's introduction. From her two salutes, you can feel that Kweek Sing Shi is a very outgoing person, and Kang Sing Shi is just the opposite. In theory, isn't the older sister more restrained? Lane thought suspiciously. This time Liu Ozen suddenly asked, As far as I know, you are usually busy. Is there anything other than sending me a batch of raw materials this time? I think I learned a lot before, so I hope to get your further guidance. Ryan said his intention directly. It's faster than I thought. After all, because you have been able to use the extraordinary powers before, so I think you will not be too slow to learn this knowledge. But according to my inference, you should take half a year at the fastest in order to learn what I taught you, and now you say that you learned actually exceeded my expectations. But since you said that you have mastered this knowledge, 
Then come with me in a laboratory, let me check what you master how about it. After he finished speaking, he said to the daughters sitting at the table. Of course, you can also take a look if you want. Thank you father. Under the leadership of Alice, a group of seven people walked through the lawn in the backyard that had just sprouted to the laboratory in the basement of the warehouse. After Liu Ozen's daughters sat down well, the assessment of Ryan began. Okay, Lane Rowe said, looking nervous, and then pulled out a piece of lead. There is no need to be nervous. Now, I ask you to turn this piece of lead into silver. Then let it become an active puppet. Does not seem as difficult as imagined. Ryan runs the bright red sphere in his mind, and uses his fingers as a medium to guide the strength of the body to the outside world. Soon, this energy formed an alchemy formation on the ground, and then Ryan put the lead in the center of the alchemy formation. The alchemy array quickly released a faint red light, and under the scrubbing of this light, a little silver light began to appear on the middle lead. Then these spots gradually expanded and joined together. Wow, it really turned into silver. Queek Sing she exclaimed in a low voice. Don't be noisy. This is a serious exam. The mercury lamp stopped immediately. At this time, the silver in the center of the alchemy array became liquid like mercury, and then began to deform slowly. Four legs appeared first, and then the head and body separated. In the end, the alchemy array turned into a beam of light into the silver statue and the statue came to life immediately. What a cute bunny www.mtlnovel.com Queek Sing she grabbed the silver rabbit who was trying to escape, and hugged it in his arms. The feel is also soft, very similar to a real rabbit say. This sentence also aroused the interest of others. Liu Ozen's daughters all gathered around to start studying the rabbit. Very good, you pass the level. Liu Ozen smiled and said to Ryan. So now I think you have enough strength to make a puppet under my guidance. What do you think? That thank you teacher. Ryan hurriedly stood up and bowed. After all, the core of the world is the cute puppets, and it is for Ryan that he can now have an assistant who can follow on various occasions. After all, he is now a person in every world, and sometimes he may really be in a hurry. Did you consider what kind of puppet you want to be? Liu Ozenu asked with concern. This is really no specific idea. I just want a puppet who can help me. The only requirement is that the combat effectiveness should not be too low. After all, I risk going to many dangerous places if the combat effectiveness is too low. May not be able to help me. Ryan said his request after thinking about it. Okay, if you are ready, then we will start now. After finishing, Liu Ozen sent the daughters back to the house, and then took out a lot of materials from the warehouse above and walked down. Okay, let's get started now. Liu Ozen said to Ryan after putting these materials on the edge of the experiment table. Chapter 260 Younger sister. In the underground laboratory of Liu Ozen's mansion, Lane stood in front of a huge silver white alchemy table. A series of things such as beakers, crucibles, test tubes, wooden racks, etc. are placed on the table, and the most eye catching at the center of the alchemy table is a black alchemy ray inlaid with silver thread. This set is much more upscale than the one Ryan himself put together. After making some gadgets and practicing hands first, Lane started his work. After checking the raw materials and recalling the entire production process, Ryan took a deep breath and started the alchemy array. At the same time he injected his magic power into the alchemy array in front of him, and merged with the magic power on the alchemy array to form a blood-red alchemy flame. As we all know, the first thing you need to do to make this advanced alchemy product is to control the power of contaminated extraordinary properties to process some magical materials, and the alchemist flame in front is the best choice now. After the blood-red flames stabilized throughout the alchemy array, Ryan threw a branch with emerald-like translucent leaves into the alchemy array without hesitation. This branch is the new material that Laney got from the world of plants versus zombies. Dave spent a lot of energy to cultivate this kind of thing called the pseudo-tree of life in accordance with the method of cultivating the tree of life in natural magic that Ryan told him, but unfortunately cultivated a bunch of only one tree that survived. Wow wow just after the hourglass on the side had just finished the smallest scale. The main body of the branch began to melt into a white liquid glowing with green light, and the green leaves seemed to wither, same, slowly turn yellow. It turned into a small translucent liquid like amber. This time Ryan was absorbed in feeling the change in the liquid. In his perception, these liquids shined differently, and with stirring, these liquids quickly merged into a liquid ball. Soon in the rotation, the energy in these liquids was catalyzed by the flame of alchemy that was constantly emerging from the alchemy array, and then began to produce a smart feeling. Ryan quickly put the auxiliary materials prepared in advance one by one into the liquid in this order until the agility above was completely stabilized. The first step, the construction of the magic cycle and activation has been completed. The next step is the second step, shaping. Time passed by one minute and one second, and Ryan put some materials into the alchemy array every once in a while. When Ryan's magic was about to dry up, the whole process was finally over. At this time, there was a football-sized grey-brown sphere on the alchemy table. This sphere world is actually composed of impurities in the material. Ryan stepped forward and gently waved his wand, 
and the sphere split into two halves. A doll head with pale silvery white hair and amber eyes appeared in front of Ryan. Very good creation. Liu Ozen commented after the inspection, Okay, you have been busy for a long time. Now you should go up to a meal, take a shower and finally get a good night's sleep. Making dolls is a big project. Absolutely there can't be an overnight idea. It's the best choice to fix it and meet the challenges of tomorrow with a perfect attitude. After listening to teacher Liu Ozen's advice, Ryan put the parts of the puppet just made on the alchemy table, and then went back to the mansion to rest. For the next week, Ryan was busy making doll parts. Fortunately, he thoroughly understood the puppet making manual through the system, so that all the parts did not have big mistakes in the production. Some small mistakes were also corrected under the correction of teacher Liu Ozen, so as not to affect the production. The quality of, after all parts are manufactured, Ryan enters the most important step of soul reincarnation after a good day's rest. This step is the key to make a person's soul. Because of the limitation of Ryan's strength, he couldn't carry out this step independently. And he needed the direct help of Liu Ozen to complete this last and the most important step. Soon after stabilizing their emotions, the two stood together at the alchemy table. The puppets on the stage have been finished, wearing a simple white robe lying on the alchemy table as if falling asleep. At this time, Ryan took out the emotions collected in other worlds, and then instructed him to pour it into a piece of peanut-sized red gem that Liu Ozen handed him. This is the virgin rose. Is it too expensive? After injecting energy, Ryan asked with the red gem. Accurately, it is the fragment of Our Lady of the Roses. I found it difficult to make a complete fragrance of the rose. I simply combined these materials and materials to make these fragments. This is much better than the full version, and it is not that complicated but on the one hand, only the soul can be called the fragment of Our Lady of Roses, and it was only expensive artificial gems before it was injected. On the other hand, the puppets produced in this way must be energized by the contractor to exert their full power, rather than being able to fully independent action. So this thing is not as expensive as you think. If you feel overwhelmed, it will be enough to bring me some new knowledge and materials to compensate later. Liu Ozen said gently, after everything is ready, the soul begins completely. This ritual requires giving a piece of your soul to the puppet as the seed of the puppet's soul. Unlike the puppets of non-intelligent creatures in the past, in order to make a puppet, you must take a small piece from the soul instead of using the collected soul pieces after recasting. Of course this soul is small enough to be restored, but even this whole process is still complicated and dangerous. This is why Ryan needs Liu Ozen to lend a helping hand. A large alchemy array has been drawn on the ground in advance. When Ryan walked into the alchemy array, the alchemy array started and formed a perfect closed loop with the alchemy array on the alchemy table. Okay, now separate the soul according to the method I told you before. Liu Ozen saw that both alchemy arrays had reached the predetermined level. So he shouted to Ryan. Ryan quickly entered the state of inner vision and saw his burning soul fire www.mtlnovel.com He urged the soul fire to spin quickly, and finally separated a tiny soul fire. As soon as soul fire separated, Ryan felt a sense of exhaustion hit his brain. However, he still endured this feeling to integrate soul fire and Madonna Rose, and then installed it into the doll's body. After injecting a magic power to start the puppet, the puppet was finally completed. Ryan had no time to say that I was so sleepy so I sat down on the ground and fell asleep. I don't know how long this sleepless sleep lasted. Ryan slowly opened his eyes. As soon as he opened his eyes, he saw a puppet in a magnificent lilac gothic dress, and a long silver-haired figure sat on the edge of the bedside table and turned to look at him. When it was found that she opened her eyes, the doll jumped out of the bedside table and ran out of the door, shouting, My brother is awake. Ryan only found the bed in his room at this time, and soon everyone squeezed to the bed. Liu Ozen looked at Ryan and said, You finally woke up, and if you don't wake up, I will find a way to wake you up. Well, how long have I slept? Ryan asked, sitting up against the decorative panel on the bedside. Three days, three full days. Liu Ozen said seriously, so you have to improve your strength. I found it difficult to support you at the last minute yesterday. But at that time I was worried that there would be no way to stop the loss. You, fortunately, Ryan, you finally supported it. Speaking of this, Liu Ozen glanced at Ryan and then said, Now you wake up, hurry up and eat. After that, he took everyone out of the house and closed the door. Chapter 261, Liu Ozen's Horcrux. After Liu Ozen left, Ryan hurriedly got up and cleaned up. Ten minutes later he was sitting at the table. Because he didn't eat for three days, he was really hungry. After a full meal, Ryan started talking to teacher Liu Ozen about the details of the puppet making that day. But before chatting, Liu Ozen called out the puppet hiding behind him. Don't you keep asking your brother why you didn't wake up the other day? You were so concerned about how he was shy now. It was said that the little puppet came out from behind Liu Ozen, 
and then gave Ryan a pretty lady's dressing ceremony and said, Rose Crystal has met my elder brother. Rose Crystal? Ryan asked somewhat puzzled. Yes, there must always be a name for the birth of a child. This name will only us if you have fallen asleep. The name Alice first thought of. Liu Ozen responded. Do you feel bad? I think it's very good. Ryan thought about the name of Xiaozi who thought of the first reaction after seeing the puppet, and felt that this was not something he could do with the name, or it was better to use the name Alice. Although from this name, Ryan felt the power of the will of the world. Of course. What makes Ryan feel relieved most is that the puppet called him brother instead of dad. After all, single father is really a very hard role. He is not married like Liu Ozen. He has not done it yet. Ready to be single with a daughter? After feeling Ryan's heartfelt love, a doll called Rose Crystal walked over and sat directly on his shoulder, and then held Ryan's head and listened to the conversation between the two quietly. By the way, there is one important thing to tell you. Each person can make up to seven such dolls, because our souls can be split up to seven times in making dolls. If we continue to split everyone will lose their minds. Liu Ozen told Ryan with a straight face. Seven times? Ryan suddenly remembered a very important thing. Why does this sound like Voldemort's Horcrux? Because in the original text, Voldemort made a total of seven Horcruxes and split the soul seven times. Although Ryan hadn't seen much of the work of the Rose Girl, he also knew that Liu Ozen finally made seven puppets. What do these two things have in common? Is it just a coincidence? Horoscope, what is that? Liu Ozen asked curiously, because he hadn't heard of this thing before. Ryan didn't think about it until after a brief explanation. I think I know what that is. It's very similar to a magic from ancient Egypt. Do you know the mummy? Ryan nodded his head. Mummy is an important supporting role or even a leading role in a large number of literary and film works. He naturally knew such a famous thing. Actually, the mummy first came from an earliest way to escape death. At that time, someone invented a small piece of his soul to make a life box and save it in a safe place. When he was in danger of life, he could regenerate himself. Way. And the Horcrux you said is very similar to this life box. Teacher Liu Ozen explained. In the magical explanation, the method of making mummies and taking out the stomach, intestines, liver, and lungs in separate jars but leaving a heart is actually a metaphor for cutting a part of your soul when making a life box. But it must be remembered that only the soul in your body is the most important, and it must not be turned upside down. But as time goes on, ordinary people who can't master magic also get this method, but they just do it literally. As a result, this method is world famous as a method of corpse preservation. If the cultural background of our two worlds is not much different, the Voldemort Horcrux you said is actually splitting the soul to make a life box. But what Voldemort said about making the Horcrux can keep him away from death. Ryan asked further because Hogwarts didn't have a book about Horcrux at all. Therefore, since teacher Liu Ozen said something similar, he wanted to ask clearly so that he could use it to understand the Horcrux from the side. It's very simple. On the one hand, it is difficult to die no matter what fatal damage it takes if you have a life box. On the other hand, each life box will give the owner a lifespan equivalent to the original body life. If you say if the man made seven Horcruxes, it means that he has eight times the lifespan of ordinary life. Know that even for a person who has mastered extraordinary powers, it can be very long to live for nearly 1,000 years. Of course this is a conclusion drawn in my world, but according to my observation of your world, your world should be similar. But if you can get a sample of Horcrux, I can conduct a specific analysis. Liu Ozen said after analyzing Voldemort's Horcrux. But like the rules of the world, no matter how powerful the transcendental can only divide the soul up to seven times. According to the records of those who made the life box, once the number exceeds this number, the self-consciousness will disappear, even if the soul it still exists but he was not him at that time, said that Liu Ozen paused and warned. It's not just that. When we make puppets, separating our souls is just like cutting human nails and cutting hair. This can be recovered. Even more times will only affect our creations, not ourselves. Hearing here, Ryan felt Rose Crystal's power suddenly holding her head a little stronger. But Liu Ozen didn't notice this scene and continued to talk about it. But if you want to save yourself and cut your soul, on the one hand, it is far more dangerous and complicated than the way we make puppets. On the other hand, you need to cut your soul body, which is equivalent to the amputation of ordinary people. Surgery. It will also cause some irreversible problems for the damaged souls. The most important thing is that the longevity brought by this method is actually done by consuming the power of the soul body. It will cause their souls to disappear completely. And the disappearance of the soul is actually extremely dangerous and bad for the transcendental www.mtlnovel.com is even worse than death itself. But what is the Horcrux in your world? I can't be completely sure unless you can let me see a sample. Speaking of this Liu Ozen looked at Ryan with a thirsty look. I think I seem to know where a Horcrux is, and I can bring it to you when it is free, said to teacher Liu Ozen. Relax, I just study. I will never use this stupid way of hurting the soul. After all, 
the top of alchemy can naturally obtain eternal life. Liu Ozent solemnly assured after listening to Ryan's answer. Lin remembered the original Dumbledore's sentence, death is just a great adventure. It seems that the Horcrux caused the harm on the soul to cause far more serious consequences than he thought. After all, even teacher Liu Ozen, an alchemist who can touch the roots of the world, and such a great professor as President Dumbledore, pointed out the importance of the soul, so there must be no big problem in wantonly cutting the soul. Okay, the above is what I want to tell you. You must pay attention to the importance of the soul in your future life. After finishing, Liu Ozen stood up and went back to the door and said, to celebrate with the addition of new members, I decided to hold a banquet for Rose Crystal at night. Thank you teacher. Ryan also stood up and sent Liu Ozen away at this time. Everyone had a great time that night. Three days later, when Ryan felt that the wound on his soul had been completely repaired, he said goodbye to teacher Liu Ozen and his daughters and returned to Wanji Grocery Store with Rose Crystal. Chapter 262 Capture Crown. Is this the world of my elder brother? Rose Crystal walked out of the space store and surveyed this little shop of groceries in Wanji. This place is just a time and space hub that belongs to me. I still have several worlds to go to. Ryan quickly argued. After all, he did not want to lose face in front of this newly recognized sister. After speaking, he put a golden box in his arms on the shelf. This box was given to him by Mr. Liu Ozen. It has enough defenses to hold the Horcrux. After listening to Ryan saying that he could get a Horcrux, Liu Ozen gave him such a box. After all, according to Liu Ozen's statement, he is also very interested in the life box of this other world. I hope Ryan can bring one to him. After putting this thing, Ryan took Rose Crystal to visit all the worlds he could go to, and even Hogwarts took her for a night tour. But in the end she chose to stay in Wanji Grocery Store. After all, that's what she said. This should be the most important place for the elder brother, so Rose Crystal should wait here. After repeatedly guaranteeing her free time, Ryan took her to travel to various places saying goodbye to some reluctant rose crystals and returning to Hogwarts. Seriously, as the only child of the two worlds, he did not know how to get along with his siblings, but rose crystals obvious desire to follow him, but his stubbornness that it is more important to keep a good home really touched him, and he also recognized this doll sister from the heart. After returning to Hogwarts, Ryan returned to his daily life. The fourth grade courses are more onerous than the previous ones, but Ryan can still deal well with these schoolwork burdens. However, in his spare time, he has been thinking about teacher Liu Ozen's advice to him. After a week of classes, it was time for a weekend break. On Saturday morning Hermione was a little sick, so she went directly to the school hospital. Ryan alone did not want to go to the library to read books, so he decided to go to the request room and take out the crown of Ravenclaw. On the eighth floor, beside the stall, Lane meditated three times and needed a place to hide things, while walking back and forth three times in front of the empty wall. Then the door of the request room appeared on the wall. Although Ryan had been here once in order to determine the state of the crown, he still felt a little shocked when he came in this time. After all, a church-sized space filled with all kinds of objects has a weird sense of grandeur. Ryan thinks it is like a diagonal lane of debris. Soon he found the crown by relying on the monster specimen as a signpost. An ugly bust is placed on a crate and the crown is worn on the head of this ugly old wizard statue, the hole is rusty. If you don't say it, you can't see it at all. This is one of the four giants, the treasure left by Wenklaw. It seems that the characteristics of each Horcrux in Voldemort's possession are different, so that it can avoid someone from analyzing all his Horcruxes in one go. The diary was put on the bright side for the sake of trouble. Harry was just accidental. The hiding of the pendant box and the resurrection stone ring used a series of evil organs. The gold cup and the crown were mixed with a lot of similar things. It was pure hide. Najini is a living creature and a blind spot for many people. So the hidden crown of the crown in the debris pile was also Voldemort's intention, and this hiding was very successful. Even Dumbledore did not analyze that this thing was hidden here. If it wasn't for the Halo protagonist Halo who had seen this crown inadvertently in the original text, no one would have thought that this thing was hiding there. Ryan again determined the position of things, summoned a steam robot to pick up the crown and put it in a special gold box. In the process, the crown was very quiet and there was no magic attack. This may be because, on the one hand, Ryan chose the robot to move the crown, so the soul inside did not react. On the other hand, the main hidden method of this crown is camouflage. If a lot of magic traps are placed on it, there will be no camouflage effect. After storing the gold box, Ryan opened the space store and went straight to the Wanji grocery store. It wasn't until an hour later that Ryan reappeared in the room where there was a request. With a brilliant crown in his hands, this time Ryan stayed with teacher Liu Ozen for another week. The two used this time to thoroughly study the Horcrux. It can be seen from the research results that the Horcrux made by Voldemort and the life box have a certain difference. The advantage of the Horcrux is that the materials required are much cheaper and cheaper than the material of the life box. At the same time, the method of cutting soul is also much simpler than making a life box, and it is easier to make. However, the problem brought about by this is that on the one hand, the method of cutting the soul by the Horcrux hurts the soul too much 
especially the use of killing to separate the soul can be regarded as an extremely simple and crude scheme, and the natural sequel of it is much larger than the sequel of cutting soul when making a life box. On the other hand, this cutting method will inevitably give the soul inside the hookrux a certain self-awareness, which leads to the place where the hookrux is collected must be the place where the hookrux owner is more impressed, otherwise the self in the hookrux will gradually be lost. Afterwards, even if the hookrux is used to resurrect, the hookrux master will lose part of his memory or even completely lose himself. The results of this research finally let Ryan know why Voldemort put his hookruxes in a place where others can judge by analyzing his life. If it were not for this limitation, Voldemort was not the kind of person who knew nothing about the Mull world. He can secretly put his Hookrux on the Voyager 1 or Mars probe. In this case, no one can get it back even if he knows where the Hookrux is. After thoroughly researching the Hookrux, Teacher Luo Zen successfully separated Voldemort's remnant from the crown, and then used it as the target of Lion to demonstrate the Nine Gods Thunder Array. However, the remnant souls that are out of the protection of the Hookruxes are a little too fragile. Even if Voldemort's remnant souls are directly connected to the two Purple Punishment Thunders, their souls will be completely dissipated. Nine days of punishment thunder. After stripping Voldemort's remnant, the two study the crown of Ravenclaw together. Legend has it that the crown of Ravenclaw can be used to gain wisdom. Even Ryan has seen it in some of his colleagues in his last life. There is a saying that this crown is actually Ravenclaw's hookrux, and wearing it is equivalent to carrying it with you. A sister or grandpa. This time in the analysis of Euro Zen, the top alchemist, the crown of Ravenclaw finally unveiled its mysterious veil. This crown is actually an alchemy product. After teacher Luo Zen confirmed the safety, Ryan took the crown, and he soon discovered the role of the crown. The crown is held constant by several magics. One is a mechanized mind, which can make people become a kind of emotional learning machine. One is to detect magic, allowing people to see the magic aura without a disguise in sight. The last one is vitality recovery, which allows users to greatly reduce fatigue and hunger. In short, this is a good thing that can make people 007 wholeheartedly devoted to learning. No wonder Ravenclaw engraved on the crown that extraordinary wisdom is the greatest wealth of mankind. You reading www.uukanzu.com has this thing for the smart Ravenclaw is definitely more powerful. That's why Ravenclaw has always carried this crown, because this crown can maximize her wisdom. Mr. Liu Ozan praised this crown very much. He believed that he could use materials and alchemy rays that could only be regarded as good in his eyes to constitute such a near eternal effect alchemy product. The producer must be a very strong person. When I learned from Ryan that the producer of the crown was an ancient man thousands of years ago, Liu Ozan sighed for a while, regretting not being able to communicate with such a person. After checking and analyzing all these things, teacher Liu Ozan chose to retreat and sought out the knowledge gained. Ryan went to find Rose Crystal and returned to school. Rose Crystal was not idle during this time. When Ryan found her, she flew to Ryan's ear and boasted that she had learned the knowledge of becoming her from a book in the study. Teacher Liu Ozen only collected this book when he was interested in a different world. Looking back, I found it was useless and piled up in the corner. I didn't expect to be turned out by a group of puppets. After reading this book, Ryan found that to believe in becoming a god, he had to have all the right people in the right place, but unfortunately he did not meet the requirements in several worlds, and he did not intend to take the path of faith to become a god. So he listened to this matter freshly, and after satisfying the expression of the little puppet, he handed over the notes of his previous years to Alice and her sisters, and then returned to the room with a rose crystal. Chapter 263 Guests will arrive in the request room. Lane looked at the crown in his hand for a moment, although the above function is a bit of a taste for Ian. This thing is a precious cultural relic anyway, so he needs to weigh how to deal with it. If you turn it in, you can naturally get a lot of honor, but for Ryan, who plans to participate in the True Wizard Tournament, honor is not much needed for the time being. So Ryan decided to leave this thing in his own hands and wait until he needed it before taking it out. After reaping the six-point offset caused by the destruction of this hookrux, Lane left the room with a smile and smiling. Although the top three competition is coming. Everyone still needs to attend class as usual. Even because the representatives of other schools in the True Wizard Tournament are coming soon, every teacher hopes to enable students to learn more in a short time to avoid losing face in front of the teachers and students of the other two schools. Even Professor McGonagall, who is not usually harsh, shouted to the students below when he was about to finish class. Longbottom, please do well. Don't show your stuff in front of Deemstrang's people. Let them see that you don't even master a simple conversion spell. And among so many courses, Ryan likes Moody's class the most, because he hasn't seemed uneasy because of the upcoming True Wizard Tournament. After all, he only came to the top one-year class, not the resident professor of the school. Besides, Moody struggled from the death line countless times. The threat of death could not affect his mentality, and naturally the game could not. So in these lessons, Moody has been arranging tasks according to his own syllabus. During these classes, he turned all the tables and chairs into various obstacles, 
and then put a lot of puppets in the classroom to imitate the attacking black wizard for the students to practice in. These puppets will only release a mark magic. A white letter T is projected on the head of the person who was hit. In the first actual combat lesson, Moody gave everyone a more eye, he adjusted the difficulty of the puppet array to the highest level. As a result, at the end of that class, most of the students walked out of the classroom door with a capital letter T on their heads. Only Ryan successfully passed the exam with enough practical experience and won Moody to grant. 20 cents added by Fondo. Ryan, please stay after class. Just as Ryan packed up and was about to retreat, Moody stopped Ryan. No way. Ryan had to say hello to Hermione and followed Moody into his office. This is also the first time Ryan enters the office of the Black Magic Defense Professor. When Professor Moody opened the door, Ryan found out there were a lot of weird games. Ryan felt that these should be Moody's pride. What do you owe she used? While Ryan looked at these things, Moody also came in. You seem very interested in these things. Yes, Ryan nodded, then pointed to something like a glass top on the table. I saw this thing with Harry. It should be a speculum. Yes, in addition to this I have a probe and a mirror. I have all the equipment that an error should have. Moody proudly introduced Ryan to a series of equipment in the room, and suddenly he turned to Ryan and asked, Are you Ryan Liang? a fourth-year student at Gryffindor College at Hogwarts. Ryan was taken aback, and then replied, I am Ryan Liang, a fourth-year student at Gryffindor College in Hogwarts. At this time, Moody scanned the instruments on the table. Oh, sorry, I'm allergic. Moody took the hip flask from his waist and unscrewed it, and took a sip. Ryan's fortified nose easily smelled of pumpkin juice. Looking at your performance in class today far surpasses others, I thought you were a black wizard pretending to assassinate me in disguise. Ryan now knew how suspicious Moody was. But in addition to being suspicious, Moody is also a person with personality and charm. When he is normal, otherwise there will be no such people admiring him. In the next half hour, Moody told Ryan a lot of his actual combat experience when he was in era. In the end, he even told Ryan that his actual combat level is at least those of the new eras after half a year of actual combat. I hope Ryan can consider becoming an era after graduation. Lane just smiled politely. Obviously Moody thought he was extremely talented in battle so he hoped he would apply for error in the future. The actual situation is that Ryan's ability is cultivated in a lot of actual combat, and the real combat talent is not much stronger than others. After going out, Ryan felt that the Moody in front of him was more real, but this is not good news, because it means that the plot that Ryan knew has changed and the future began to become chaotic. The time soon reached mid-October. After the first session of this week as conservation of magical creatures, Everyone got the news of the arrival of the representatives of Booth Barton and Dean Strand from the Apocalypse Bar in the entrance hall next Friday. In this case, this week the school entered an unprecedented state of cleanliness, not to mention the dust and spider webs in the corners, even the busiest public house house elves cleaned up several times a day. Not only that, the armor and portraits in the castle have been fully maintained. After talking with some oil paintings, Ryan learned that this last comprehensive maintenance was more than a century ago. On the morning of October 30th, Everyone went downstairs for breakfast and found that the auditorium was renovated overnight. On the wall are huge silk banners, each of which represents an academy at Hogwarts, Gryffindor with a golden lion on a red background, and Ravenclaw with a bronze eagle on a blue background. www.mtlnovel.com Hufflepuff with a black badger on the yellow background and Slytherin with a silver python on the green background. Behind the teacher's desk, the largest banner hung with a coat of arms of Hogwarts, lions, eagles, badgers, and snakes joined together surrounded by a large letter H. Lane swears that this is the most gorgeous time he has seen Hogwarts Castle decorated since he entered school. Even when he was sitting at the long table, he could vaguely feel the breath of an alchemy product from these banners. So when he left the auditorium, he specifically approached these banners, and found that the banners were indeed alchemy products. Each banner was cured with cleaning and anti-wear effects, and the history of each banner was not less than 300 years. Dot. It's really the most powerful magic school in Europe. Just one thing can show the absolute deep background. It's estimated that it's enough to buy a new banner for only 7 or 8 silver, but after alchemy processing the cost is more than 20 gold gallons. And the only effect of these alchemy banners is to support the school. Ryan now has a deeper understanding of Hogwarts. In addition, the professors also began to order the class leader and the president of the student union to focus on those who usually like to have accidents or mischief, so as not to shame the school at a welcome ceremony. For example, the Weasley twins are the key target. Even Ryan saw Professor McGonagall in the corridor instructing the Blood Man Barrow to be optimistic about Pippi, and today he must not be allowed to make trouble. In this atmosphere of tension and expectation, the time for the arrival of the guests is finally coming. Chapter 264, Welcome. This afternoon, the potions class ended half an hour earlier. Ignoring Snape's ugly face, everyone hurried back to the dormitory to put down their school bags and textbooks, put on their cloaks and then quickly dashed down the stairs to the entrance hall and lined up under the direction of the college dean. 
What are the top three? It is a competitive game full of friendship. It takes friendship as the premise and competition as the stage. Show the beauty, ability, will, skill and wisdom of the participating wizards. In this competition, every participant is a champion. Have the courage to challenge the limits of the self, surpass the self, and realize the value of the self. At the same time, it also allows all wizards to provide a platform for communication and strive to achieve peace and prosperity in the magic world. All of the above are official articles of the Daily Prophet. There is only one real purpose of the competition, which is that the contestants have to defeat other opponents and win honors for their schools. In short, victory is the first one. As for friendship he he, at least Tryon feels that cheating has become a traditional match friendship at best. After counting the number of people and sorting out the instruments, Professor McDonagall let everyone line up to the open space in front of the castle. The Scottish Highlands at the end of October are already quite cool. Fortunately, the curiosity of the guests makes us ignore the slightly cold climate for now. When it was dark, Dumbledore stood in the back row shouted ah. If I am not mistaken, the representative of Booth Barton has already come. Ryan soon saw a behemoth flying over the Forbidden Forest towards the castle. As Mr. Weasley said in the camp before the Quidditch World Cup final, always like this whenever we get together, there with us can't stop showing off. Not only the wizards are like this, but even the magic school. Just like ordinary people haven't seen each other for a long time and will compare how they are mixed. So, is the wizarding school different from the implicitness of the Eastern style? Each participating school in the True Wizard Tournament directly took out everything that could be shown off to show the details of its own school to other schools. For example, the alchemy banners that Ryan saw in Ryan's Hall are part of it. Naturally Booth Button is also not exempt, because Booth Button in the Sky has already set out their platoon, an absolutely luxury carriage. This huge, huge pink blue wagon is as big as a house. Twelve horses with wings are flying in the sky. They are all silver-maned horses, and each horse is about the size of an elephant. In the eyes of Lion Alchemist, the carriage is actually a whole piece of alchemy product, with its own flying and space compression functions. When he switched his vision to the field of vision of the magic eagle eye, he could see a lot of magic aura shining on the carriage. This shows that the carriage is likely to have powerful magical attack and defense capabilities in places where it cannot be seen. The most important thing is that the magic aura on the side of the carriage forms a letter N.F, which is the abbreviation of Nicole May. But think about it too, there is a close relationship between Booth Button and the great alchemist Nicole May. Then it is normal for this alchemist to make a carriage for the school. But compared with the carriage, it is the horse that pulls the cart that can really show the inside of Booth Button. Let's not talk about how Booth Button found a dozen of these extremely rare silver-maned horses. Just think about the size of an elephant and drink pure malt whiskey to know how expensive it is to raise these guys. And unlike the one-time investment in the carriage, these horses are always burning money. Lane looked at these things and felt like he had eaten a lemon. After all, even if he had already opened the way to several worlds, the resources on hand could not afford this set of things. Of course. Ryan also knows that this is the foundation of a school for hundreds of years, and it is completely different from his upstart. The carriage was flying lower and lower, and finally the large horseshoe with a large plate was firmly pressed against the ground with a huge noise, causing a commotion. In this time, a small boy flexibly jumped from the carriage. Pressing your finger on the bottom of the carriage, as a golden ladder was changed, the little guy jumped back directly, and then a respectful and respectful salute. After the door opened, a huge woman came down from the carriage and Ryan immediately recalled that this was Mrs. Maxim, the semi-giant, although she absolutely did not admit it. Of course, Ryan can understand. After all, even in a place where France is more tolerant of wizards with other creatures, having the bloodline of evil and stupid giants is still not acceptable to the public. After a brief chat, Mrs. Maxim took her students and was warmed into the school auditorium, leaving only a group of landlords at Hogwarts to continue blowing the cold wind of the night waiting for Dim's the arrival of the Trang delegation. Fortunately, it didn't take long and the kind of sound in the water tank when the toilet was flushed was uploaded. A magnificent ship resembling the legendary ghost ship floated up from the bottom of the water and sailed towards the shore. This ship is an ordinary magic ship, and the magic aura on it cannot be compared with the carriage carriage of Booth Barton. But think about only one carriage like Booth Button, and there is a mountain lake behind Dean Strand School, docked with many dark, ghostly large ships. This comparison shows that everyone is similar. Soon Dean Strand's sailing boat was docked, and the silhouette of the porthole lights began to move accompanied by the crunching planks, and a group of wizards lined up from the boat in order now at the end of October, although the weather was a bit cold, Deemstrong's fur coat still looked too thick www.mtlenovel.com but these furs also made the wearer look tall and burly. Watching former Death Eater Kakraf greet Principal Dumbledore with an exaggerated passionate tone, Ryan felt a little uncomfortable. I really don't know what Voldemort was looking at him that made him a man. Fortunately, Principal Dumbledore was a centenarian and he was used to this company all his life. He shook hands with the silver-haired man and responded, Excellent, thank you. Professor Kakaroff. Kakaroff shook hands while looking at Hogwarts. Dear old man Hogwarts, 
He looked up at the castle and smiled and said, It's nice to be here, really good wick dole, come and warm up, don't you mind, Dumbledore. The weather is too cold, although this sentence sounds very warm, but there is no smile in his eyes. He is still indifferent and sharp. This sense of dislocation makes everyone who sees this scene feel uncomfortable. But with Crumb's appearance, Hogwarts students were excited. Even on the way to Distromess students to the auditorium, many students wanted Crumb to sign for them, especially when Ryan heard that a girl wanted Crumb to sign her hat with lipstick. Ryan can only shake his head for these fanatical star chasers, and Hermione thinks this is too ridiculous. Finally, Ryan sat steadily at Gryffindor's long table, and he was ready to eat. After all, he was blown in the cold night breeze for more than an hour, and he felt cold and hungry, and he needed an extra calorie. Chapter 265, Banquet After everyone arrived in the auditorium, the students of Booth Button chose the seats at Travenclaw's table. After sitting down, they seemed to be curious about Hogwarts Castle, looking around the auditorium with a dull expression on their faces. Three of them still wrapped their heads tightly with scarves and headscarves. Not so cold, Hermione said dissatisfiedly. Why don't they wear cloaks? They are estimated to have come directly from the school. As far as I know, Booth Barton is in southern France. The temperature that can be much higher than here. I think they wrap themselves so tightly that they may not adapt to the climate here. Reason, Ryan explained. That's it. It's no wonder that Dean Strang's students are wearing such thick clothes, and it would have snowed if they wanted to come to the north. Hermione showed an understanding expression. Ron was busy on the side, and he wanted Hermione to move. After discovering, Ryan quickly stopped. Don't be busy. We and Hufflepuff are all full. Those guests who want to choose also choose Ravenclaw or Slytherin table with less people. Ron was a little dissatisfied, but soon Dean Strand's students chose to sit on Slytherin. After seeing Crumb, who was talking to Slytherin students, Ron only grumbled sourly. After all the students entered the auditorium and sat down at the tables of their respective colleges, all the faculty members came in. They walked to the main table and sat down. It was Professor Dumbledore, Professor Kukulov and Mrs. Maxim who sat down last. It is worth mentioning that the students of Booth Barton saw the headmaster appear and stood up quickly. This restraint made several Hogwarts students unable to help laughing but the representatives of Booth Barton did not seem embarrassed at all, until Madame Maxim sat down on the left hand of Dumbledore. They sit down again. Dumbledore had been standing, and the auditorium gradually became quieter. It seems that the French have strict etiquette and strong organizational discipline. But this strong discipline is not French at all. Lane saw this scene silently. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen ghosts, and especially VIPs, Dumbledore began to speak at this time, and he looked at the foreign students with a smile, I am pregnant with great joy, welcome to Hogwarts, I hope and believe that you will feel comfortable and happy here, a Bush Barton girl still wrapped her head tightly in a scarf, and made a sneer that was undoubtedly ironical, Ryan decided to take back the previous words, it was extremely rude to make such a sound when an old man of great respect, he estimated that the French students had stood up purely out of conditioned reflexes. This can only be said that the principal of Booth Barton did well now rather than the French change he had previously thought. The hegemony will officially start at the end of the banquet, Dumbledore said, I now invite everyone to eat and drink as if they were at home. Is finally open. Lane praised Professor Dumbledore from the heart. The plates in front of them were filled with food as usual. Many of them were obviously classic foreign dishes, and it was obvious that the house elves in the kitchen had done all they could to complete them. What's this? asked Hermione by the side, pointing at a platter of potpourri. Ah, this is Smogbo, Ryan said after looking at the plate. Fortunately, he had seen this last time he traveled to Northern Europe. It's a big platter consisting of smoked herring, smoked salmon, liver puree, sausage, sliced meat, pickled cucumber, Salad and cheese. It's a very good appetizer over Sweden. You can try it. It's really good. Hermione said after tasting a piece of smoked herring with a fork. After a banquet for more than 20 minutes, there was a little problem. A silver-haired Bush Barton girl came to get the French miso soup, and Ron responded like an idiot. It's humiliating, hasn't he seen a beautiful woman? Hermione complained softly when she saw this scene. Just over there came Ron's voice. There is no such person at Hogwarts. After listening to this sentence, Ryan extremely admired Ron's courage. After all, Ryan didn't dare to do anything like offend the schoolgirl. Anyway, the girls who heard this sentence looked at Ron hostilely, even including his sister Ginny. Harry moved slightly aside at this moment, indicating that the matter had nothing to do with himself. Seeing Hermione whose face turned a little ugly, Ryan quickly pulled her and said, There is no need to be angry because others. Besides, Ron is only affected by magic. I just felt like a girl during the holiday just when the girl came over. Baby s kind of magical reaction. By the way, I also tested a hidden magic by analyzing the magical imitation on them. This is what Ryan just remembered after seeing this mixed bread may Iver. After breaking through the natural abilities of may Iwa, Lane also tried to transform this ability into magic, but unfortunately failed. In the end, however, he reversely developed a magic named Little Transparent, after releasing this magic on the body. 
the whole person will lose most of his attraction. The biggest use of this magic is to make people around ignore you. The only drawback is that once you communicate with people, this magic effect will be automatically removed. Lane started explaining the new magic to Hermione. Sure enough, what attracted Hermione most was all kinds of knowledge. The rest of the banquet was spent in a discussion while eating and drinking. After eating the last dessert, the plate returned to a clean state. At this time Dumbledore's voice suddenly sounded www.mtlnovel.com covering the entire auditorium. This moment has finally arrived, and the True Wizard Tournament is about to begin. I want to explain a few words before taking the box in. After introducing the two officials of the Ministry of Magic who had just arrived, the hall became agitated. Because under the orders of Dumbledore, Filch held a large wooden box inlaid with jewels, and then carefully placed the box on the table in front of Dumbledore. The specific items of the Warriors' competition this year have been carefully reviewed by Mr. Crouch and Mr. Bagman, said Dumbledore when Filch placed the box. They also made many necessary arrangements for each project. There are a total of three projects, which are carried out at different times throughout the school year, and they will test the Warriors from many different aspects. Professor Dumbledore was speechless in the auditorium, and everyone seemed to stop breathing. The one who is responsible for selecting the Warriors is an impartial selector. It is the Goblet of Fire. Just as Lane tried to recall the details of the items in the original novel, Dumbledore's speech was over. Dumbledore pulled out his wand after introducing the Goblet of Fire and knocked three times on the lid of the box. The lid slowly creaked open. Dumbledore reached into his hand and pulled out a large, full-bodied blue and white flame, rough-cut wooden goblet. It seems that the protagonist of this school year came out, and Ryan stared at the flame goblet on the stage and thought, just don't know that Harry will become a warrior now that the story changes. Chapter 266 Sign up. Every classmate who wants to run for the Warriors must write his name and school name on a piece of parchment paper and throw it into this stemware, said Dumbledore. Sign up within four hours. Tomorrow evening, that is, Halloween night, the goblet will choose the names of the three students it thinks best represent the three schools. Tonight, the goblet will be placed in the hall. All willing to participate students who run for elections can access it. Dumbledore's voice was still floating above. But Ryan had no intention of listening to that for the moment, he echoed the various plans he had prepared through the age circle in his mind at this time. In order to avoid underage students who can't stand the temptation, Dumbledore said, I will draw an age line around the stemware when it is placed in the hall. No one under the age of 17 can cross this boundary. Finally, I want to remind every classmate who wants to participate in the campaign that this hegemony is not a children's play. Don't take the risk of participating. Once the warriors are selected by the flame cup, he must stick to the game. Putting the name into the cup actually forms a magical contract that must be observed. Once you become a warrior, you are not allowed to change your mind. Therefore, please think twice and make sure that you really want to participate in the game. Put the name in the cup again. Well, I think everyone should go to bed. Good night everyone. While Ryan was anxiously waiting, Dumbledore finally completed his speech which meant that the people in the auditorium could finally move freely from their positions. At this time, Dumbledore had already drawn the golden age circle with his wand and Ryan took advantage of this opportunity to join a group of classmates to observe this thing. Sure enough, this is a kind of alchemy technique. After observing with the magic eagle eye, Ryan confirmed that although he is not very clear about how this age circle works, he can prepare for it as long as he knows the direction. Of course, Professor Dumbledore used alchemy in his age circle, which is what he expected. After all, a person who can find 12 uses of dragon blood and has a very good relationship with Nicole may say nothing about alchemy. Knowing is absolutely impossible. Did you think of a way to pass the age circle? Hermione whispered to Ryan on the way back to the Gryffindor Tower. I thought of a way. Lane also whispered. But you have to look at the results of tomorrow's test. But even if you don't succeed, you won't be killed. It's much safer than being chased and killed by a large group of mummies. After returning to the common room, Lane discovered that the Weasley twins were selling their aging agent. Hey, Ryan, do you want a little more? Fred shouted to Ryan when he saw Ryan. No, I have other ways. Ryan smiled mysteriously, and went back to the dormitory. It's really nagging can't I just say it straight away? George muttered and started selling their aging agent again. Tired. This is how Ryan felt when he got up early the next morning. Because at night, Ryan ran to the Wanji grocery store and Rose Crystal after everyone was asleep, and was busy for more than an hour to complete the preparation work. Dumbledore's alchemy level is indeed very high. It took big effort to make the product that I am satisfied with now. Yawned Ryan slowly walked to the auditorium. He decided to finish his breakfast before registering. When he entered the hall, he saw more than two dozen people around. There were only a few people who were gorging on the table, obviously they wanted to finish eating and go to watch. Everyone is carefully watching the goblet. The cup is placed in the center of the hall, on the stool where the sorting hat is usually used. A thin gold line was drawn on the floor, and each side was ten feet long, 
surrounding the cup in the middle. Ten feet is equivalent to three meters. Ryan feels that this distance should be easy for normal people to throw paper into the cup. It's strange that no one in the circle of people around was eager to try. Lane curiously raised the question to the onlookers next to him, and Han Rabbit said with a smile, Justin just tried this, and then his paper ball bounced back on his head as it was and pulled his hair. It turned pink. Colin of your college wanted to use a stick to throw the paper ball into the goblet of fire, and the stick and his entire arm turned green. The worst thing was a slytherin. He thought let the senior classmates help him with it. As a result, his paper ball burnt to ash as soon as he crossed the age line, and he also burned a big hole in the pants pocket of the senior classmate. After listening to the previous series of failed pioneers, Ryan once again confirmed that some of his previous colleagues were pitting people. As the greatest white wizard in Europe and an experienced centenarian, if the age circle he draws can be broken through a simple mull trick, Dumbledore is too low. However, Ryan decided to eat first, and then he saw the famous scene when he was about to eat. The Weasley twins tried to cross the age circle after drinking the aging agent, and the result was popped up. Moustache. Hi, I told you that the aging agent is useless. Ryan shouted happily to the twins after seeing this scene. The twins walked over to Ryan immediately after hearing it. Don't you say that you have a way? Then you go up and try. The two stood next to Ryan, and then smirked and signaled Ryan to go up as well. They seemed to think that everyone was out of luck. At this time, Dumbledore had finished eating and was about to walk out of the auditorium. After seeing Ryan and the three of them, they not only did not stop, but also looked at it with their beards with interest. Okay, then I'm here. Ryan swallowed the last sip of milk in the bowl after he finished speaking, and then raised his chest to the side of the age circle with his raised. At this time, many people who watched the lively around also joined together, even including the student of Deemstrang who just finished casting his name www.mtlnovel.com after all. Ryan is the winner of the TROP 3 plus the Merlin Medal of the second grade every year. It is relatively well known in school, and many people are interested in seeing what Ryan will do. Ryan pulled out a beautiful amethyst crystal ball from the space bag on the waist of a group of onlookers. The twins quipped after seeing. Do you want to open the Tanmu divination now? How to break through? Of course not, you read it carefully. Ryan finished putting the amethyst ball on the golden age line, then pulled out his wand and drew a rune in the void. Every silver rune slowly floated out of the stick head and submerged in the amethyst ball. When the rune spread over the surface of the crystal ball, Ryan stopped drawing the rune, and then tapped the crystal ball gently with the wand. In a flash, the crystal ball gave out a lilac light, and then rolled quickly along the age line. When the crystal ball returned to the original point, the rune above completely disappeared. Look, the light in the age circle has changed. A sharp-eyed Ravenclaw senior girl called, and indeed the golden light in the age circle was now mixed with a faint purple light. This time Ryan crossed the age circle and everyone looked at him, but instead of being ejected as most people expected, he put in his own note and walked out. Boom there was a commotion around the place, even applause and whistling. The clearest of these is the cheers of the Weasley twins. Successful, God. Ryan cast his name into the Goblet of Fire. Chapter 267 Halloween. While leaning his hands to thank the classmates cheering for himself, Lane heard a low, smiling voice beside him. Ah, Mr. Liang, this alchemy product you made is pretty good. Lane turned his head and saw Professor Dumbledore coming from the crowd, and everyone gave way to Dumbledore. Can you show me this interesting thing? Dumbledore asked, pointing at the crystal ball on the ground. Of course, this is my honor, Ryan said, picking up the crystal ball on the ground after bowing and holding it to Dumbledore with both hands. Oh. This crystal ball is really clever, Dumbledore said after carefully observing the crystal ball for a while, you use this crystal ball to let those magic words invade the age line I drew, and then put list yourself as a target for exemption. Seriously, even if you can't do anything like this at your age, it seems that your Merlin class 2 medal is not just a fluke, Mr. Liang. Thank you for your compliment. Lane lowered his head gently to show respect for the principal. I drew this age line to try not to let people with insufficient level participate in the competition so as to cause danger. But people like Ryan who break through the age line by themselves will also admit that he has enough ability to cope with the competition. Opportunity to participate in this warrior campaign. After announcing this news to everyone, Dumbledore turned his head and said to Ryan, but you need to keep this crystal ball with me until the end of the selection of the warriors in the Goblet of Fire tomorrow, because I cannot allow those who are not strong enough for safety reasons. People participate in this competition. After watching Dumbledore leave with Ryan's crystal ball, a group of classmates immediately gathered around and asked Ryan just now. They expressed their inner envy at the age that Ryan had mastered alchemy, and felt a little frustrated after learning that his crystal ball could not make a second one in a short time. It took a long time for Ryan to squeeze out of the crowd, but he was intercepted by Hermione as soon as he reached the door because Hermione wanted to know how the crystal ball was made. The news soon spread throughout the school. When he and Hermione came out from the empty classroom for lunch after the discussion, Ryan found that many people in the distance were pointing at themselves. But the strange thing is that even though the news is already known to almost everyone, 
the principals of the other two schools did not protest under the pretext of being underage as Harry did when he was elected. It wasn't until Ryan took the time to sit down at the table to eat and carefully recall the plot that he discovered that the reason why the two principals protested Harry was because Hogwarts had an extra player against them at that time, and age was just an excuse. In the current situation where everyone should be a player, they can't wait for Hogwarts to send young warriors, because today is a holiday, Ryan decided to visit Wolf in the afternoon. After all, as a friend, you should never let him, Wolf, be alone. After contacting with the Emerald Dream, Ryan and Hermione set off to the Forbidden Forest around 1 p.m. Theoretically speaking, because the forest is forbidden for students to enter, no one will come in this area, but today it sounds a bit noisy. When Ryan and they went a few steps further, they finally found the source of the playful sound. A huge pink blue carriage was parked 200 yards away from the main entrance of Hagrid's hut. A student of Booth Button they are moving around the carriage. The giant elephant-like flying horse is pulling the carriage. We're drinking wine from the sink in a temporarily enclosed paddock beside the carriage. Ryan saw this scene with a conscientious smile. This distance if Hagrid did nothing in it, Ryan would absolutely not believe it. But this is also very normal. As an old bachelor who is nearly 60 years old, there is nothing wrong in pursuing his own happiness. Especially for half-giants, 60 years old is only their middle age. After bypassing the carriage far away. Ryan finally came to the familiar position in the Forbidden Forest. Hogwarts cheese pumpkin and cupcakes are still a little bit sweeter. With a Halloween gift from Ryan they wolfed slightly and said, Yes, Betty's due date is at the end of this month. You must come when the children plant a memorial tree after the full moon. Planting a commemorative tree? Ryan didn't quite understand the custom of horsemen. Like your human baptism, the horse people believe in nature, so they will plant a tree in the forest behind the altar to announce the birth of a new member to nature. If you are not young and unmarried, Betty maybe let you be the godfather of the child. After all, it is because you killed the dark wizard that this child can be born. So, can Hermione go? Ryan asked after glancing at her Hermione with a longing look. It should be possible, this kind of ceremony will be welcomed as long as the person who wishes to bless, let alone she is your partner. Wolf blurted out without hesitation. Hearing her words a little embarrassedly, she turned her head to the other side as if looking at the bird on the tree, but she didn't refute Wolf's words. After they started to talk about the latest news, after learning that Lane had signed up for the True Wizard Tournament, Wolf told him that the Elder Horseman once said that most of the True Wizard Tournament will have a monster fight project. Traditionally these monsters will be placed in the Forbidden Forest in advance, so he will inform Ryan after confirming the monster type. Listening to what you said, I think you are quite confident in my selection www.mtlnovel.com Ryan said while scratching his back at Wolf's request. That's for sure. Wolf turned his head and turned his wolf face at Ryan. Because I used to fight side by side with you, I think your courage and strength are enough to be a warrior of Hogwarts. When it was about three o'clock in the afternoon, raindrops began to fall in the sky. Ryan, they can only say goodbye to Wolf and put the robe on their heads and hurried back to the castle. When it returned to the common room, it was already raining heavily. Ryan and Hermione were sitting by the warm fire listening to the raindrops, tapping the glass window gently, and they watched quietly with a book. At dinner, Ryan went to the auditorium with a large group of Gryffindor classmates. The auditorium at this time was already full, and the goblet of fire had been removed from the entrance hall. It is now placed in front of Dumbledore's seat on the faculty's table. Obviously, the registration time has now expired, waiting for the selection of real contestants. Either you or Angelina will do. I hope our school warrior is a Gryffindor. When Ryan and Hermione sat down, Fred said, from the discussion of the surrounding students, Ryan found that there are not many people who are optimistic about themselves. On the one hand, whether it is Ryan's Merlin II medal or the way to cross the age line this morning reflects his strength, which gives many people confidence. On the other hand, Ryan is a member of Gryffindor College anyway, and everyone will naturally support the people of this college. The food appeared on the long table during everyone's noisy discussions. The Halloween party began. Chapter 268, Become a Warrior. The food for the Halloween party is naturally very rich. But the two parties in a short period of time plus everyone is concerned about who the warriors are, so that most people have not paid attention to these beautiful dishes. This caused the Hogwarts family elves to carefully prepare the food for the festival completely lost the appeal of the past. Out of curiosity, Ryan began to eavesdrop on the discussions of the people around him. As a result, I was surprised to find that I was one of Hogwarts' top three warriors candidates. The other two were Cedric of Hufflepuff and Wallins of Slytherin. Finally, the golden plate returned to its original state of dust and then the audience's voice rose sharply after there was no food to stop people from talking. The talk about the Goblet of Fire and the True Wizard Tournament covering the entire auditorium, naturally, the word warrior is the most discussed. When Dumbledore stood up, the audience immediately returned to silence. Whether it was the principals of the other two schools on the stage, officials of the Ministry of Magic or the students off the stage, their eyes were focused on him, and countless faces showed the same kind of anxiety. Okay, 
the goblet is about to make a decision, Dumbledore said. I guess it will take a minute. Listen, after the warriors' names are announced, I hope they will go to the top of the auditorium and follow the staff. The table walked over and entered the room next door. He pointed to the door behind the teacher's table. They will get preliminary guidance there. He took out his wand and waved it sharply. Immediately, all the candles were extinguished except those in the pumpkin lantern. This scene actually looks quite shocking, especially in a dim light that highlights the flaming goblet burning with blue and white flames, attracting everyone's attention in the hall. Although the blue and white flames are a bit dazzling, no one wants to look away. Everyone was watching, waiting. Even Ryan found that several people took out their watches and glanced from time to time. This minute passed a little long, and finally the flame in the goblet suddenly turned red, and the crackling mass splashed out. With a soft sound, a tongue of fire burst into the air, a piece of parchment with obvious scorching marks on the edge was sprayed out with a large flame, and then Dumbledore caught it easily. The eyes of countless people focused on Dumbledore's hand, and the headmaster looked at the flame and announced it immediately. Drumstrong's warrior, he said in a clear and powerful tone, it's Victor Crumb. It was obvious that the warriors selected by Destrom were well received, and the entire auditorium was filled with applause and cheers. When these sounds were slightly lower, the second piece of parchment was also sprayed out. Warriors of Booth Barton, said Dumbledore, is Fleur Dracul. Now everything is normal, Ryan thought. He watched Furong stand up gracefully and then walked towards the teaching staff. When Fleur de Lacour also entered the next room, the auditorium was quiet again. This time there was a strong excitement that could be tasted, because now is the time to choose the host Hogwarts warriors too. Ryan can feel a lot of eyes walking on Cedric, Wallens and himself. At this time he also felt a little nervous. After all, this was the first time he was going to change his salted fish status to do something. At this time, the goblet of flames turned red again, Mars splashed, and the tongue of fire flew high into the air. After this familiar process, Dumbledore pulled out a third piece of parchment from the tip of the tongue of fire. The warriors of Hogwarts. He said aloud, it's Ryan Liang. Applause and cheers immediately overwhelmed the entire auditorium, especially every student of Gryffindor was jumping up and down, screaming, stomping, and cheering. Gryffindor students became the warriors of the school. This is no wonder, after all, Gryffindor is famous for being brave. If the warriors are not Gryffindor, everyone in the academy will certainly feel a little regret. Lane smiled and waved with everyone and went to the preparation room. When passing by the faculty and staff table, the other two principals were also happy. Maybe they thought that the warriors of Hogwarts were younger, they would be easier to win. The portrait of the sorcerer hangs on the walls on both sides of this little house. The fire was booming in the fireplace opposite the door. Victor Crum and Furong Dracul were surrounded by the fire, but the distance between them was great. After hearing someone approaching, they both looked back at Ryan and then they turned back without a word to look at the fire. Ryan felt their coldness and closed his eyes and closed his arms with his hands against the wall. After a long five minutes in silence, footsteps came again from the door. Ryan opened his eyes and found Harry standing helplessly at the door. Who is it? Ryan thought of this in his first reaction. In the more than an hour of communication with Moody, Ryan basically ruled out the possibility of him being transferred as in the original text. But now that Harry still appears here as usual shows that certain Hogwarts was mixed in by some people and put Harry's name in the goblet of fire. Lin quickly recalled in his mind which people were suspicious. Furong turned his head and shook his long silver hair like a waterfall. What's the matter? She asked. Do they want us to go back to the auditorium? Furong thought Harry was just sent to spread the word. Ryan looked at Harry's eyes and smiled at him, and nodded. Seeing this kind of acquaintance's friendly expression, Harry seemed to relax a little and he gave a friendly smile to Ryan www.mtlnovel.com there was a busy footstep behind him, Ludho Bagman walked in the room, he grabbed Harry's arm and pulled him forward, it's so bizarre, he squeezed Harry's arm hard and whispered, absolutely bizarre, two gentlemen, madame, he walked to the fireside and said to the other three, allow me to introduce for a moment although this seems incredible this is the fourth warrior in the top three, the silence immediately enveloped the entire room, and finally the only woman in the warrior, Furong Dracul broke the silence, oh, this joke is very interesting, Mr. Bagman. Joke. Bagman repeated, somewhat puzzled. No, no, absolutely not. Harry's name just spewed out of the goblet of fire. But he didn't reach his age, and he didn't show the corresponding strength. How did this pass the screening of the flame goblet? Yeah. It's really amazing. Bagman rubbed his chin and looked down at Harry with a smile. But, you also know that age restrictions are only implemented as an additional safety measure this year, since his name is spouted out of the goblet, so there is no room for change I mean. Since the selection has reached this point, it is not allowed to escape, and Harry is destined to be a warrior. The rules are very clear, you must obey, so Harry will do his best. Ryan felt confused at this time. This kind of feeling of knowing that there was a conspiracy but could not catch the master behind was really awful. Chapter 269, Super Warrior Just as Ryan thought about the black hand behind the scenes, the door of the room was opened again, 
and a large group of people came in, Professor Dumbledore, followed by Mr. Crouch, Professor Kakarov, and Mrs. Maxim and Professor McGonagall, Vice President. Before Professor McGonagall put the door in front, Lane heard the buzz of hundreds of students in the hall that next door. What is going on? Dumbledore. Miss Maxim straightened her tall and tall body. Her handsome head hit a candle-filled chandelier, and the huge breast in a black satin dress undulated violently. I also want to know this, Dumbledore, Professor Kakaloff said with a cold smile on his face, and a pair of blue eyes chilling like ice. You paint as the strongest white wizard s age circle should not be so easily broken. Have you asked others to put your name in the goblet of fire, Harry? Dumbledore asked calmly. I don't have it, Harry said excitedly. Ah, he must be lying. Mrs. Maxim exclaimed. Dear principals, professors, I think Harry should be telling the truth, Ryan said, standing upright at this time. Harry heard grateful eyes after hearing Ryan defend him. Little fellow, you don't have to defend your classmates. I don't think a hemp wizard can find anything, Kakaroff said with contempt. The wizard's level has nothing to do with their lineage. Kakaroff, I have seen more than one idiot in a pure-blood wizard. Put away your face. Moody's angry cane tapped on the ground at this time, turned his head and stared at Ryan with both eyes. Say boy, tell me what you found? You should know that I know a lot about alchemy. Ryan took a deep breath and stabilized his mind before speaking to the group of people staring at him. If the age circle drawn by President Dumbledore in a short period of time may be broken through by other means, then the ancient and powerful magic props such as the Goblet of Fire is definitely not something that students can change. I don't think I students who have the means and strength to make the Goblet of Fire give out the name of the fourth person who should not have existed. That's right. Moody nodded approvingly. The key point is not at all in the age circle but why the flame goblet chose one more person. After speaking, Moody glanced at Kakarov with a mentally caring eye, and then said, Don't forget. He is Harry Potter, countless people think he is hope, and many people want him to die. So letting him not have enough strength to participate in the game is also a good way to let him die. We all know that if Professor Moody didn't find six people trying to murder him before lunch, he thought this morning was a waste, Kakarov said aloud but he was held by Moody's cane before he finished. On his neck, I admit that I may have some allergies when I'm older, but I still can't see this kind of obvious conspiracy. Seriously, this method is really like your past colleagues did, isn't it? He smiled, but the scarred face made the smile look scary. You, what are you talking about? Kakaroff seemed nervous. My job is to consider the problem according to the Black Wizards. Thinking, Kakaroff you should not forget. Alasto, enough. Dumbledore shouted Moody when he saw that the scene was about to get out of control. Don't say anything about the past. After he finished, he looked at everyone in the house and said, I think my student is right. I just checked the flame gob and found that it has not been dropped or modified. In this case, I think it is very likely someone particularly enchanted the goblet of fire with a confusing spell, enrolling Harry's name as a student at the fourth school and making sure he was the only candidate for that school. This powerful spell is not a wizard for me what can be cast, their magic reserve is simply not enough to complete the spell. Several people nodded subconsciously. In addition to extremely rare people like Ryan who have special opportunities to have the magic of adults when they are minors, the magic of most people grows with age. Dot and Harry Potter's previous performance at school shows that he is no different from ordinary wizards in this respect. But what about the unfair situation now? The Goblet of Flames has gone out, and it is impossible to select more warriors, Mrs. Maxime said, staring angrily. Well, the Goblet of Fire stipulates that anyone whose name comes out of the Goblet of Fire must participate in the competition. Is there any rule that the warriors must be selected by the Goblet of Fire? Lane asked in a low voice. Everyone's face changed immediately, and then they collectively looked at the most familiar Batic Crouch who was backing the rules and regulations. No, Mr. Crouch said with a straight face. The True Wizard Tournament does not stipulate that the warriors must be selected by the Goblet of Fire, only that the Goblet of Fire allows contestants to sign a magic contract. Of course. Now it seems that this the regulations are flawed, I think. Thank you, Batty. Professor Dumbledore interrupted Mr. Crouch who was going to make a long speech, and then said to the two principals, Now, you can go and choose another contestant each. Does this mean that I want to share the honor with another person? Because of other people's mistakes, my honor and bonus have to shrink. Furong murmured angrily, After all, each school chose another pair of schools. It is fair to say but it is not the case for the contestants. But her complaint was obviously not effective. From Mrs. Maxime's entrance, she could stand up and see that the principal should have the deepest mastery of the school. So once she makes a decision, no one in school can change. After the two principals went out, Crouch complained a bit ugly. Dumbledore. The suggestions made by your students make our chances of victory much smaller. I don't think Mr. Liang said anything wrong. After all, this event is for communication. If he didn't mention this suggestion just now, it will definitely make people from other countries leave a bad impression on us at Hogwarts. We, Hogwarts, also hope that the honor we have won is undisputed. www.mtlnovel.com Dumbledore replied solemnly after hearing Crouch's words. Soon, 
The two principals each came into the room with a new warrior, although the two genuine warriors selected by the Goblet of Fire are somewhat dissatisfied. This time is definitely not a time for infighting to show jokes to outsiders. All the contestants stood obediently at this time waiting for Mr. Bagman's pre-match guidance. The first project is to test your guts, he said toward a large group of warriors, so we are not going to tell you what it is, because daring to face the unknown is an important quality of the wizard. Well, no wrong, very important, I think you will soon know what it is. The first project will be carried out on November 24th, completed in front of other students and the referee. At least when he announced these things, Bagman was still very dignified by the officials of the Ministry of Magic, and the twins described him as a rotten gambling ghost image when their father and son were plugged in there to demand debt. When completing the competition, their warriors should not ask or accept any help from their teachers. When the warriors faced the first round of challenges, the only weapon in their hands was their own wands. They would not know until the first project ended. Regarding the situation of the second project, due to the high requirements of the competition and the long duration, their warriors will not take the school year exam. Was finally over, and Ryan exhaled with a sigh of relief, thinking that unfortunately he didn't catch the guy who was a monster. This may be the negative effect of changing the plot before. Chapter 270 The Study After finishing these procedures, Dumbledore began to invite others to have a drink. Ryan took advantage of this opportunity to look at all the contestants in the room and found that Crumb was the ugliest of several people. This is no wonder, one school and two warriors have a big problem. Cheating in the top three competition is a tradition, which means that the contestants will get more or less help from the school. But when a school chooses two warriors, not only can these resources not be concentrated, it may even cause internal friction. No wonder Crumb's face is so ugly. The two Hogwarts sides are not equal in strength. The principal of Booth Barton has a high degree of control over the school. It seems that he may receive the least help. Obviously, their warriors super editor made it necessary for schools to coordinate internal issues. Except for Dumbledore who kept stocking students. So regardless of this, the other two principals declined his invitation and led their warriors back to arrange. In the end, only two officials of the Ministry of Magic chose to stay and have a drink with Principal Dumbledore and stayed overnight at Hogwarts. Harry, Ryan. I suggest you go back to bed. Dumbledore looked at them with a smile. I believe that Gryffindor's classmates are waiting to celebrate with you. They have an excuse. Noisy, it's too bad to take away this opportunity. After hearing these words, Ryan was absent-minded and had to go out, because he became a warrior and only got 12 points of deviation. Is this given in stages? It seems that this year should be very different from the original story. Otherwise, this completely subversive behavior will not only be offset by this point. How do these principles go so fast? Harry was a little strange. After all, he was just a 15-year-old young man. Some darker places were unimaginable. Yeah, the resources of the whole school could have been inclined to one person. Now that the warriors have become two people, of course they have to think about how to allocate resources Lane said a bit absently in the front. At this time, the corridor seemed empty, and the flames of the candles had become very small, which made the strange smiles on the pumpkin lanterns flicker and looked scary. Plus today is Halloween. This atmosphere is very suitable for this haunted good day. But the biggest difference between this Halloween and the previous years is that the Pippi Ghost was most watched by the Blood Man Barrow because of the guests from outside schools. So this year's Halloween always feels like something is missing. After listening to Ryan's words, Harry's face showed an embarrassed expression. Ryan, believe me, definitely I did not put my name in the Goblet of Fire. I believe in you. I didn't know what level you were in when I tutored you for so long last year. I certainly don't believe you put it in. Ryan shrugged lightly and breathed a sigh of relief when he saw Harry. Then he said, but the most important thing now is to face the game. After all, on the 24th, you are going to play, but you are not prepared at all. Under such circumstances, shouldn't you think about how to pass the game smoothly? Harry's face collapsed. After all, his qualifications for the competition had been solved by a school's two players but he was not prepared for the next game. Oh, can you lend me a look at the live map now? Ryan asked at this time, the twins once told me that they gave you the live map. Here you are, after Ryan said twice, Harry reacted and pulled out the live map from his pocket. What do you want this thing to do? I think it might be an outsider who put your name in the goblet of fire, so I want to see if he is still in the castle. Ryan said his goal directly. After opening the map, the two stood there and checked it carefully especially the professor's offices. Unfortunately, no suspicious areas were found. It seems that the man hid deeper than he thought. Well, since the plot has changed, it is inevitable that this method of staying on the sidelines will not work. In this case, Ryan felt that he could only slowly find out the suspect. But it doesn't matter, anyway, that man put Harry's name in the goblet of fire to make a move during the game. Then you will always have a chance to catch the guy who participates in the game together. Reached the staircase on the second floor, Ryan and Harry said goodbye and went straight to the library. Sure enough, Hermione was waiting for him in the library. Congratulations on your success as a warrior. Hermione said after seeing Ryan sit down opposite him, 
and then pointed to the books on the table, because you have become a warrior, the bibliography of some districts is also open to you, I picked some of the ones you might use, you can take a look first, thanks, Ryan naturally took the book and read it, I spell, magic needle, powerful coma spell, elemental magic theory it seems that there are many good things hidden in the area, but under normal circumstances, only students in the nude class of black magic defense can get the professor's signature under the premise of learning. No wonder there are some people in the Ministry of Magic who are worried about their fighting level. www.mtlnovel.com Where can they go to improve their level without having enough knowledge? Hermione is still very happy about Ryan becoming a warrior, especially now she can also take the opportunity to take a look at these books that were previously unreachable in the district. Mrs. Pins discovered this, but closed her eyes on Hermione a fellow book lover, because Wolf said that there were only a few items without a giant monster in the top three competitions in the world, so most of the books Hermione looked for were magical techniques for dealing with giant monsters. Part of it is a variety of state magic, which can be used to buff yourself while debuffing the other party, and the other part is some special means that can hurt giants. I mantra seems to be a special magic for big guys, you must learn it, and you may be able to deal with giants in the future. Hey! There is actually magic that had status to himself. Why is this thing in the district? Ryan saw the cursed curse after talking to himself, and found the reason after turning two pages. It turns out that the user's physical fitness must be strong. In front of him, an unfolded book page shows the process of directing a man with poor coordination after using this spell by using a dynamic painting unique to the magic world. This picture made Ryan feel a pain in some part. Time slowly passed in this kind of study, and Ryan didn't reluctantly leave the library until the bell of curfew rang. Fortunately, Tomorrow is Sunday, and he can come to see the day again. Chapter 271, Ghost News As Ryan devotes himself wholeheartedly to the ocean of knowledge, Harry felt extremely frustrated. Was unprecedentedly welcome when he returned to the common room alone, especially after learning that another warrior lane went to the library. All these enthusiasms were poured on Harry. Everyone was asking how Harry threw his name into the goblet of fire through the age line, and also stuffed him with all kinds of food. Harry explained helplessly over and over again. He didn't know what was going on, but no one believed him and no one wanted to hear him say he was not hungry, and no one noticed that he had no emotion to celebrate this thing. Harry wanted to go back to the dormitory many times, but the enthusiastic crowd always surrounded him and asked him. He regretted not going to the library with Ryan. Finally, when Harry, who was out of control, suddenly broke out, everyone finally gave way to his dormitory. But when he returned to the dormitory, the greater despair awaited him. Harry thought he could talk to his best friend Ron, but Ron questioned him with a strange and strange look. In short, he felt this day was awful while he was sleeping. But Ryan didn't know what happened to Harry. It was quite late when he returned to the common room that day, and the celebrating crowd had dispersed. After talking with his roommates, he fell asleep as usual. Early the next morning, Ryan got up early. After washing, he joined Hermione in the common room, and then went to the auditorium for breakfast. Because today is a weekend, not many people come to breakfast so early. Only a few people sit at the tables of their respective colleges. Just as Ryan was eating, he saw Ron and Ginny coming to the auditorium together with the afterglow in the corner of his eyes, but Ginny looked a little angry without knowing what the two said. Straight away Ron walked over to Ryan. Good morning Hermione, good morning Ryan. Ginny sat down next to Hermione while saying hello, then picked up a piece of bread and added a few slices of pickled cucumber and bacon. Just looking at you seems to be arguing with your brother, is it okay? Hermione asked concerned, her relationship with Ginny has always been good so she would naturally ask Ginny after seeing this. It's no big deal. Ginny swallowed the food in her mouth. Although my brother is a good person, he will be jealous, jealous, and unwise. It must be said that Harry cast his name into the goblet of fire. After finishing this sentence, Ginny looked at Hermione and Ryan and asked, You won't believe this? Of course I don't believe it. Hermione said, Although the truth is a bit hurtful, Ryan and I gave Harry half of the semester's lesson last semester, knowing that his level can't break Dumbledore's magic and President Dumbledore didn't think it was Harry who cast his name into it yesterday. Ryan added on the side, Thank you, but most of my classmates don't think so. Ginny took out a handkerchief from her arms and wrapped a few pieces of bread after hurriedly eating breakfast, and then they said goodbye to Ryan. I think Harry must be in a bad mood today, so bring him some food. After she finished speaking, she ran outside the auditorium. Ginny was not a very emotionally slow person like Harry. Now because of the butterfly effect of Ryan, she was not ugly on Valentine's Day that year, nor was she controlled by Voldemort's Horcrux. In this case, after Ginny took the initiative to close the distance with Harry, the relationship between the two has been good, and now they can be regarded as friends. As someone who loved Harry for so long, Ginny would definitely not let go of this opportunity to brush up on Harry when he was depressed. After eating, Ryan and Hermione split up to inform others that the book club meeting will be suspended once this afternoon because they need to spend time to check the information. When he ran breathlessly near the Ravenclaw Tower, he just saw Janku and Cedric going downstairs. Lane, 
Congratulations on being a warrior of Hogwarts. After telling Jank that the afternoon meeting was cancelled and asking her to tell Luna and Alicia, Cedric extended his hand with a sincere expression and shook Ryan. Lean's smile is naturally very sincere. Although he lost the chance to become a warrior because of his involvement in Cedric, he also got rid of the shadow of death. Farewell to them, Lane went to the library to meet Hermione. Along the way, except for those Slytherins who still look down on Ryan due to bloodline issues, most wizards, especially the hemp seed wizards, showed their welcome and support for Ryan. After all, compared to Harry in their eyes, Ryan is the honor earned by his own knowledge and strength, and is a real Hogwarts warrior. After a whole day, Ryan and Hermione were reading the books borrowed from the district in the library, and in the evening they were very satisfied with today's harvest. During this period, a few girls may want Ryan to sign, but after seeing Hermione sitting on the side, she just looked at it and left. In addition to reading a book this Halloween holiday, Ryan also spent half a day in the request room to make up for this year's feast for the headless Cernic. Seriously, Ryan, actually you don't need to cook for us this year. After all, you have to win glory for Hogwarts, Nick said embarrassedly. It's okay, after all. I can't prepare for the game all day. This opportunity just takes a break. Besides, my level has improved a lot, and now it only takes half a day to prepare everything. Looking at Ryan, Nick can only try to recall some things about the past three semi-finals and tell Ryan as his heart. I have experienced many true wizard tournaments at Hogwarts, which is actually a dangerous game that will kill people. Although I don't know what this game will be. But fighting a huge monster has a high probability of becoming a game. The project, after all was interrupted for so long among them. If I resume the game this time, I guess they will restart this project as a tribute to the ancient tradition www.mtlnovel.com Nick left his head in his hand and then speak with your right hand. And I once heard the portraits say that they repeatedly emphasize the importance of safety during the discussion. So they should choose some kind of controllable monsters in this game. After the ghost discussion, we think that the most likely thing is the dragon fighting. After all, the wizards can now raise dragons, and as a tribute to tradition, the brave dragon fighting dragon is a very good way. These ghosts have guessed even this, and have to say that their hundreds of years of experience are indeed very powerful. Thinking of Ryan asking habitually, is there any good way to deal with a dragon? I really know some news. Nick said something unexpected. If you remember correctly, there was no restriction on the weapons of the early wizards tree wizard tournament, only that these things must be from their hands, and the Hogwarts district left a sketch of the weapons they made at the time. Dot. I heard the fat monk say you are better at alchemy. Maybe you can know what you get from it. Sure enough, it is always rewarding to have a good relationship with these experienced seniors at Hogwarts. Chapter 272, Preparation Time Under Nick's instructions, Ryan rushed to the library. It was obvious that Mrs. Pins knew the library very well, and he took out several scrolls for him from the district soon after Ryan asked. These are the things left by those predecessors, but seriously, I don't think it's a good idea for a wizard to fight with an axe, spear or sword. Mrs. Pin said to Ryan after taking out these scrolls with a tray to, of course, I know, it's just that I think these things may help me improve my alchemy level, Ryan said after receiving the scroll on the tray. After all, no matter what the content of the game is, I still try to improve my own. Strength is right, and learning alchemy knowledge is a good way. For the rest of the day, Ryan spent all his time studying these scrolls. By reading these materials, he learned a lot of new ways of running and arranging and combining them which made him one more candidate to deal with the dragon. Dot at the same time, he also obtained a game plan without revealing more abilities. After all, the enemy is now hiding in the dark like a viper in the shadows. At this time, an extra card can be hidden to gain one more advantage. In the future, it wasn't just Ryan who was in the library during the Halloween holiday. Their warriors from the other two schools also came to the library to look for materials. However, Ryan also found that the consequences of temporarily joining the second warrior had already appeared. Booth Barton kept the superficial piece under the shock of the principle of the half-blood giant, but Lane could see that they formed two small groups with the two warriors at the core. It's just that when they are outward, they are together in distraction. And Deem Strand directly put this division on the bright side, whether it is reading a book in the library or going to the auditorium to eat afterwards, they are divided into two groups. If it weren't for Hogwarts at this time, they might all fight. But looking at the bruises on the hands of some of the members, these people may have duel in private. However, Hogwarts seemed very harmonious here, except that some of Slytherin's brain-infused guys made badges that insulted Harry. Lane found that unlike the plot, this badge does not support its own content. It is estimated that those pure blood despised Ryan, the mud blood in their eyes. It was shown to the outside that the school was not united and there were no additional conflicts. After all, the two warriors hid all day in places where there were few people to read and practice and the other one was worried about being pointed and simply hiding in the dormitory and not going out after becoming a warrior somehow. By the end of the holiday class, Harry found himself in a worse situation, especially after discovering the badges of the Slytherins. Fortunately, Ginny would comfort him when she was not in class. But for Ryan these days have been good, 
but he feels a little uncomfortable with a sudden increase in fans. I didn't pay much attention to me when I won the Merlin medal last time. One day after finishing the fried snail in the magical animal protection class, he was preparing to have lunch in the restaurant. Ryan humbly rejected a lower grade Hufflepuff. After the girl S signed request, Hermione complained to her sitting opposite, because these people really affect his life. Ryan is not uncomfortable with this feeling of being worshipped. After all, he has the status of a savior in both the plant wars and the zombies world and the radiation world. Naturally, he has harvested countless admirers, but those admirers never affect Ryan every day. After all, the Merlin medal is too far away and too tall for everyone, and choosing the warriors of Hogwarts is a matter for everyone. People always care about things that are relevant to themselves. Hermione put down the pumpkin, said the cup of juice. Okay, you are right, but I always feel that I am a bit like the fellow wearing sunglasses in the London Zoo, Lane said with a shrug. It's more like if you sit there and eat bamboo. Hermione quipped. The afternoon class was a potion class. As a result, I was directly hit at the door of the potion classroom because of the insulting badge. Potter pulled out his wand and fought Malfoy. Ryan arrived late because he had read a book for more at noon. When he arrived at the door of the potions classroom, he just saw a beam of light flying towards him. The curse stops. Ryan raised his wand subconsciously. The beam of light emitted from the head of his wand was just offset by the beam of light flying across from him. Only Gore was injured in this attack which naturally caused Professor Snape who came to deal with the problem to deduct 50 points from Gryffindor College. In short, the conflict made the atmosphere in the classroom very bad. Fortunately, it was not long before the class, and Colin Crivey notified Ryan and Harry to take pictures upstairs. Along the way, Colin tweeted around Harry and asked him until he reached the steps. He didn't calm down until he reached the door of the room. This is a small classroom, most of the desks were pushed behind the classroom, leaving a large space in the middle. But there are three desks next to each other placed in front of the blackboard, covered with a long velvet. Behind the velvet-covered desks were five chairs, one of which was Ludo Bagman, who was talking to a witch that Alan had never seen before. The witch was wearing a magenta robe, her hair twitched into an exquisite, stiff, weird, curly hair, and her thick fingers clutched the crocodile leather handbag. Her nails were two inches long and painted red. Although I have never seen it before, looking at the clothes and the things in his hands, Ryan will soon recognize who this is. Rita Skitt, a journalist who is good at making news www.mtlnovel.com can make countless pieces of black material from your ordinary sentence, and the level of making up the automatic feather pen in her hand is there is nothing more than that. Because the monotonous life of the wizarding world is too monotonous, countless people are expecting this reporter to share with them a new story just made. After seeing that everyone was here, Bagman began to announce what he would do now. We must check whether your wand is fully functional and in good performance, because in future competitions, the wand is your most important device. He said, the expert is upstairs, with Dumbledore. Then take a few photos. This is Rita Skeeter, he said, pointing to the witch in magenta robe. She is writing a small article about the hegemony for the Prophet Daily. Small articles? Ryan felt that Bagman was too optimistic. In front of him, the master who can compile hundreds of thousands of words containing a variety of attractive elements in best-selling novels. Seriously, why don't you imitate Lockhart as a star if you have this kind of talent? Instead of being a reporter, it feels like you're overkill. Fortunately, this time she has found her prey. Rita Skeeter, who quietly vomited in Ryan's heart, took the initiative to attack. Can we talk to Harry a few words before we start? She asked Bagman, but her eyes were still fixed on Harry. You youngest warrior, you know. In order to add some more to the article color, she stared at Harry, her eyes like a beast staring at a rabbit. Harry still had too little experience and foolishly agreed to the interview request. Afterwards, Rita was pulled into a broom cubicle and started a one-on-one -on -one interview. Ryan can only silently pray for Harry at this time hoping that there will not be too much explosive news after tomorrow's newspaper. Chapter 273, False Reports After seeing the door of the broom closed, Lane found a corner and stood there. After all, he was not familiar with the others in the room. Fortunately, it didn't take a few minutes when Bagman greeted everyone to sit down. Dumbledore got downstairs. What about Harry? Dumbledore, who had come downstairs, glanced at the room and asked Tryon. It was pulled by the female reporter for an interview. Lane replied pointing at the door of the broom. Dumbledore stepped forward and yanked open the door of the broom, then overlooking Rita Skeet and Harry. Dumbledore. Rita Skeet reflected immediately, and then said aloud, with a joyous look how are you? She said, standing up and extending a man to Dumbledore, like a big hand, my summer article about the International Wizarding Federation Conference, I wonder if you read it? It's awesome, Dumbledore said, his eyes shining brightly. I especially love to read the section where you described me as a rigid old maniac. Professor Dumbledore, you really are a playboy. Ryan's eyes glanced silently out the window at this moment. But Dumbledore's counterattack was of no use to the particularly thick-skinned person like Rita Shit. She said very naturally, I just want to show that some of your views are a bit outdated, Dumbledore, many outside wizard. I'd love to hear your frank reasoning, Rita, Dumbledore said, 
bowing with a smile and a courteous politeness. But I'm afraid we have to talk about this issue later. The magic wand detection ceremony will soon to begin. If we continue to spend time, the ceremony will not be able to proceed. Harry seemed tired of the reporter, and quickly took the opportunity to sit in the chair next to Ryan. After that, there is a magic wand check. Every warrior will undergo a precise inspection after handing it up, and then Mr. Ollivander will tell about its current state and function once, and declare it in good condition, which is completely acceptable. The next test. In this inspection, Mr. Rolivander intentionally or unintentionally highlighted the advantages of his work, and expressed some opinions on the ones made by other craftsmen. Of course, although these views seem neutral, they actually degrade others. After all, how can a competitor say good things to each other? Of course, checking the magic wand is a traditional item in the True Wizard tournament, which is the same as checking weapons before soldiers go to the battlefield. When Professor Dumbledore announced the end of the examination, Harry jumped first and was about to slip away but it was stopped by the photographer. Take a picture, Dumbledore, take a picture. Bagman shouted excitedly. The referee and the warriors are taking a group photo. What do you think, Rita? Obviously as a person in the Ministry of Magic, especially in charge of this game Ministry of Magic officials, Bagman is very eager to show his face. Well well, take a photo first. Rita Skeet, who always wanted to make a big news, would naturally not miss this opportunity, and his eyes fell on Harry again. Maybe I will take a few more photos later. Single. Probably because there are too many players in this game, after taking a photo highlighting Harry, Rita Skype chose only Harry, Crum, and Furong as the main players in single shot photos, and Ryan and the other two contestants were simply taken away by taking a solo photo. After the photo was taken, Rita Skeet pulled Harry back to start a single interview. Seeing him look at himself with help, Ryan could only make an empathy expression and quickly slipped away. When he went out, he found that the warriors of the other two schools looked at Harry with an envious look. It seemed that they really didn't know the dangers of society. The day after the interview, Harry woke up and exchanged a blunt conversation with Ron before heading to the auditorium for breakfast. On the way, he found that many people looked at him with strange eyes, and it felt like he reached the top when he did it at the edge of Gryffindor's table. Everyone looked at him with a mixture of curiosity, disgust and admiration. What the happened? Harry finally couldn't bear the atmosphere and asked aloud. The classmates around you look at me. I look at you looking at each other for a while, and then Neville handed him a profit daily. Harry unfolded the newspaper and found that Rita Skitt's article about the True Wizard Tournament was published. This article is not so much a report on the situation of the hegemony, but it is not a portrayal of Harry's personal life. A large number of pages of the first edition of the newspaper were occupied by a photo of Harry, and the entire article, to be continued to the second, sixth, and seventh editions was all about Harry, Fleur, and Grum. In the last line of the article, and misspelled, Ryan and the other two contestants simply did not have names and were directly taken by one other player in one stroke. The second, sixth, and seventh editions of the newspaper dealt with Harry's emotional problems. It was all about the feelings between Harry and Ron. Rita described many disgusting long stories, and asked other people what he thought of him. Harry finally found his first love at Hogwarts. His close friend Colin Crivey said that Harry was inseparable from a boy named Ron Weasley. But this year, due to Ron's concerns about Harry's participation in the sport, a cold war broke out between them. According to reliable sources, the two of them have not spoken for a long time. Well, it seems that without Hermione Harry could still be made into a scandal. After this report was published, the relationship between Harry and Ron was even worse. www.mtlnovel.com Even now the two people try not to appear on the same occasion except during class. After two weeks of preparation, Ryan felt that he was almost ready. On the Saturday before the start of the first project, the school approved students from grade 3 and above to go to Hogsmeade Village. Lion also took advantage of this opportunity to relax. Fortunately, Rita Sky didn't stare at me that day, otherwise I'm miserable now. Ryan said to Hermione while eating a piece of cotton candy floating in front of him like a cloud. I heard Neville said that he and Ron exchanged births, and now Ron sleeps on the bed farthest from Harry in the dormitory but that reporter is completely making up. Hermione said a little puzzled, why can this very stupid rumor spread in school for two weeks? No way, it's jealous. After all, Harry doesn't show my strength directly beyond the age circle. Many people think that Harry must have taken some disgraceful means. They may think that they have the opportunity to become such a high profile. The focus is on it. Besides, the magic world is really boring. This kind of fabricated news is very satisfying for some wizards' empty hearts. Ryan explained to Hermione the reason for the current state of affairs. After strolling through several shops, two people who felt a little cold went to three brooms and drank a heated butter beer. When they felt that their bodies were warm, they sat with one person and looked a bit strange. Hello. Then he returned to school. When they came to the grass in front of the castle, they suddenly heard a howling of wolves from the forest. Wolf asked me if I had something to do. Let's go to the library first. After hearing the wolf howl, Ryan greeted Hermione next to him, and then quickly ran towards the Forbidden Forest. Chapter 274, 
dragon. When Ryan followed the voice to the vacant lot at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, he saw Wolf raise his head and howl on a huge tree stump. After seeing Ryan, he jumped off the stump and asked eagerly, What do you think of my posture just now? Can it give a wilderness hunter feeling? Ryan it's like the Wolf King I've seen on TV howling at night. He didn't tell Wolf Gwang that funny look destroyed all the atmosphere. That is, I am the most handsome wolf in the Forbidden Forest. It seems that after reading a lot of books, Wolf now speaks more like a human. By the way, I won't say this anymore. I called you this time mainly because some people from the horse tribe found that there were a lot of people suddenly on the side of the Forbidden Forest, and they started to build some fence-like things with thick wooden boards. So let me tell you, because everyone thinks it may be something you will face later in the game. How do you guess it was for the game? Ryan asked curiously. As long as it is historically the top three competitions held at Hogwarts, the monsters required for the monster fighting project will be placed in the open space near the Forbidden Forest two or three days before the game. According to the records of the Horseman tribe, the most placed there in history is the dragon, and then there are various monsters such as Hydra, Chimera, etc. After speaking, Wolf took a cloth bag from the stump and handed it to Ryan saying, this is from Aunt Betty to you, you will wear this and go through the forest with me. Ryan shook the bag, and found that it was a robe that resembled the auspicious suit and could cover the whole person, and the slight natural breath above can maintain the highest concealment in the forest. After putting on the robe, Ryan took out the grappling hook from the waist bag and put it on his arm. Then use the grappling hook to move quickly on the tree, and then follow the running wolf to the side of the forbidden forest. As he approached the edge of the other side of the forbidden forest, Ryan heard a noisy voice from outside the forest. So he and Wolf both slowed down, and slowly moved to the edge of the forest under the cover of the trees. Sure enough, a group of wizards were busy constructing a huge fence in the open space outside the Forbidden Forest. Several floors of trees were broken down by the wizards into thick planks and hit firmly into the ground. Afterwards, several wizards went to the planks to attach various spells. The story of chanting spells does not use the technique of silent spells, so Ryan knows that they are adding reinforcement and fire protection spells. The biggest guy can raise his neck to be 50 feet high and the flame can be sprayed out 40 feet away. So you must add some more magic when making the fence. This time a young man's voice came through. Lane turned his gaze to the person who spoke, and found that this person was Charlie Weasley, the dragon breeder he had seen during the summer vacation. Sure enough, the plot has not changed much. The first project is still related to the dragon. Because Ryan was hiding in the woods, those people did not find anyone peeking. Everyone is orderly cleaning the site and making fences. Ryan was bored after looking at the fence under construction for a while. When he was about to leave, he suddenly found some black spots in the distance approaching. When the black dots were close to this open space, they were found to be huge steel cages, each of which contained a sleeping dragon. On the four corners above the cage and in the middle are an iron chain, and at the other end of each chain is a flying carpet floating in the air. Sorcerers were sitting on the flying carpet, and the wizards were nervously pointing their wands at the sleeping dragon. Put down, be careful, don't wake them up. Charlie made various colors of light on the wand at this time, directing the flying carpets to slowly descend with the iron cage. After thoroughly confirming that the opponent in the first game was a dragon, Ryan called Wolf and left. Farewell to Wolf on the edge of the Forbidden Forest, Lane came to the library. As soon as I entered the door, I saw Crumb reading at a table by the door. There were several girls standing on the nearby bookshelf who wanted to ask Crumb to sign. But soon these girls were driven away by Mrs. Pins. When Ryan found Hermione, Hermione was rummaging through a pile of books. When he saw Ryan coming over, he asked, What does Wolf look for you at this time? He took me to see what I was going to deal with in the first game. Ryan whispered to Hermione when he looked around and found no one. We guess right before. The first scene was the dragon. I saw them transporting six dragons. How are you preparing? Hermione asked. No problem. Ryan smiled confidently. I was prepared according to the dragon slaughter. But it should not be so difficult to think about now. After watching those dragons today, I think the content of the game is probably just to take something under the guard of the dragon or chase after the dragon just stick with enough time. After all, I don't think all the contestants are better than me, and this year they all said that putting safety first, it's impossible to come up with such a dangerous project. That's good. Hermione closed the book in front of her and looked up at Ryan. Right, shall we tell Harry about this? After all, he is our classmate. I should definitely tell him that this is just a game. I can't watch you reading www.uukanzu.com. I can't just watch my classmates go straight to the audience. Ryan nodded, worried that his butterfly effect might affect some things. If it hurts some people because of this, it is not what he wants. There are a lot of people who have followed me in school recently. I will tell Harry that it is not appropriate. You can find a chance to tell Ginny about this later. When it was time for dinner, Hermione ran to Ginny's ear and whispered a few words. Ginny changed her face immediately after listening to it, 
and hurriedly left the table without eating a few bites. It seems that Hermione has told her that she will face the dragon in the first game. She is now going upstairs to inform Harry. The next day was Sunday, when Ryan finished his breakfast early in the morning and was preparing to go to the request room with Hermione for the final exercise. Harry suddenly appeared in the hall. Ryan, thank you. Hagrid took me to see the fire dragons last night. Oh my god, now I have only two days to prepare for the fire dragons. What should I do? Harry said at the end. It has changed a bit, maybe because Lan Lan helped him make up half of the semester last semester. So this time he subconsciously spoke out his inner uneasiness. It seems that a series of recent events have put too much pressure on Harry. Ryan shook his head gently and put his hand on his shoulder. You can ask Sirius, maybe he has a good way to solve the difficulties in front of you. Yeah, I'm going to write a letter now. Harry looked up suddenly feeling that the whole person was alive again. When he was about to leave, he turned back and asked Ryan, Ryan, are you ready? Naturally, there is no problem. Unfortunately, my method is related to alchemy. Even if I tell you my way, you can't use it. After that, Ryan waved his hand and hurriedly left to prepare to return to the dormitory and write a letter to Harry of Sirius. Dot. Chapter 275, Game Start. Taking advantage of this time before the game. Ryan found an opportunity to ask Professor McGonagall about many of the metamorphic problems he had encountered while self-studying Fu's magic book. After confirming through some tests that the level of Ryan's deformity reached the requirements, Professor McGonagall handed over to Ryan the human deformity that was supposed to be taught by the Deformation Improvement class. She even added a lot of her own valuable experience while teaching Ryan. I sincerely hope you will win this competition, Ryan, Professor McGonagall said when he was about to leave. Thank you. Professor McGonagall, I am ready this time and I will definitely win, Ryan said about a Professor McGonagall before leaving the classroom. In addition to Professor McGonagall, Professor Flitwick and Professor Sprout both provided some help to Ryan. It seems that most of the professors in the school are willing to provide some convenience to the warriors of the school. On Monday night Ryan went to bed early, after all, it was most important to adjust his state before facing the battle. The game day soon came, although Ryan was very tempted to say that he had to have normal classes in the morning in the afternoon. Fortunately, this morning was just a history of magic, which allowed Ryan enough time to deduce the content of the afternoon game. Because Quidditch was cancelled this year, Hogwarts students poured their enthusiasm into the True Wizard tournament. Even if the school is still in the morning class, but in no way diminish everyone's enthusiasm. By noon, all the students knew about the afternoon game. After lunch, the auditorium was filled with the noise of students. Of course, these noises have nothing to do with Ryan because Professor McGonagall came over and asked Ryan to go to the game early. Ryan suddenly stood up and heard the sound of the stool pulling away from behind, and then Hermione called him behind, Ryan. What? Ryan was hugged by Hermione just after she turned around, and then she leaned in and said, Good luck, you will succeed. Surely no problem. Ryan said and patted Hermione's back gently. Several students around the scene saw this scene with exclamation. Ryan even heard Ginny whispering next to him, It's terrible, why didn't I think of? After saying goodbye to Hermione, Ryan and Harry walked around the edge of the Forbidden Forest and walked towards the place where the dragon was. The grove of trees that could have seen the sight at this moment has erected a tent to block the fire dragons, and the entrance of the tent is facing them. Along the way, Professor McGonagall felt a little anxious, and when she walked to the door, she began to tell Lane both of them, Keep your heads calm. We have arranged some wizards next to them. If the situation is not good, they will come forward to control the situation. The most important thing is to give full play to your own ability, Harry. Pay attention to safety. If you think it is resolved you can call for help directly. At this time, life is more important than glory. Ryan, I know that you are well prepared this time. But after playing, you must be as careful as possible. Don't be careless. No problem. The two said in unison. Looking at the facial expressions of the two who looked more solemn and plain, Professor McGonagall looked slightly relaxed, nodding his head to signal that they could go in. The plot has changed slightly. When Ryan and Harry walked into the tent, they found that there was no one in it. It seemed that they were the first to arrive. After finding a stool to sit down, he turned his head and asked Harry beside him, Are you ready? No problem. Harry's answer sounded a little nervous, but he could hear the confidence contained in it. Sirius and Ginny have proposed several good methods, and Ginny and I have already practiced those methods in the past two days. That's good, come on, Ryan said after making a fist and encouraged, and Harry smiled when he saw it. At this time, the footsteps at the door interrupted their conversation. As soon as the curtain opened, Crumb and another Deemstrand warrior walked in, and then found a stool to sit down. Over time, their warriors and staff arrived one after another. Ryan saw that most of the warriors were pale. It seemed that they already knew what they were going to face. Obviously, the dragon brought enough threats to everyone. After looking around the tent for a week, Ryan discovered that he was one of the best-looking men among these warriors. It can only be said that everyone's psychological resistance is different, and their performance when facing stress is also different. Of course. Ryan knew at this time that the people in front of him were enough to be called warriors. After all, 
None of them was on the run, and being able to be so calm just takes advantage of more actual combat experience. At least in Ryan's eyes, the dragon's lethality is not as strong as the blood last year. And all you who can sit here are warriors, and those trembling lips are not necessarily because of fear. Maybe it's because I'm excited about a battle soon. Just like Ryan had seen people who liked the battle in several other worlds, they were very excited before each battle. Finally the tent door lifted, and Batty came in wearing an old hornet's robe. Obviously he hopes to evoke everyone's glorious memories of his past, instead of focusing on the belly of his middle-aged man. Dot. Everyone doesn't have to be nervous. Relax, just like in your own home. Looking at everyone's face, he tried to soothe the atmosphere in the tent. Is there a fire dragon in the wizard's house? After hearing this, Ryan suddenly had a strange thought in his mind. Okay, I'm very happy that everyone is here now. I hope it's not too late it's time to introduce you to the situation. Bagman said cheerfully, after the audience gathers www.mtlnovel.com take this bag in turn to each of you. He lifted a purple silk bag and shook it to all the warriors. You pick out the small model of the thing you are going to face from each other. They are different, ah, uh, kind. I have one more thing I want to tell you, ah, uh, your task is to pick up golden eggs. The preface of what he said does not follow, and the warriors sitting here now know what he is talking about crossing the fire dragon and obtaining the golden egg. But everyone can't show that they understand this thing, because in theory they shouldn't know, and the result is a little embarrassing. Just as they spoke, the sound of footsteps and conversations were heard outside the tent. Obviously, the audience had begun to gather. Hearing the noisy noise outside, Bagman pulled out a pocket watch and untied the purple bag. Come on, ladies first, he said as he handed the bag in front of Fleur de Lacour. She put a trembling hand into the bag, and took out a small, delicate model of the dragon, which is a Welsh green dragon, with a number around her neck. Number one. Next was another warrior at Booth Button. She was as pale as Furong. When she pulled out, everyone found out that she needed to deal with a Chinese fireball, but it was number three. It seems that this game is indeed a priority for ladies. The next draw was Crum, drawing the fourth pick, a Welsh green dragon like Fleur. Then his companion drew out the fifth Romanian longhorn dragon. Harry swallowed and foamed his hand stiffly into his pocket. His face turned whiter when he took out his things and spread them out. Number two, the Swedish short-nosed dragon. Well, Ryan now knows his opponent. The Hungarian Hornets on the 6th, 